Okay, I really hope this works. Uh, my streaming software is being really odd, and uh, I don't know. I kept trying to start the stream, and I don't know if this still persists, but it says I'm streaming. Is there two streams running right now? Okay, there wasn't. It said I wasn't streaming, and then now it does. Sorry, I just have to clear this up, but uh, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a good day. Um, we're back with more tears, and yeah, just gonna do a bunch of stuff after doing the fourth dungeon. Uh, sorry, there's a whole situation at the beginning, and I have no idea why. Um, yep, I had a stream, and it is... <laughs> it was bugging out for a minute. It's like there, and now it's not, and... Uh... I don't know actually. I'm sorry. One second. This is really bizarre. Um, I have to privatize the other stream. Okay. We're gonna have a redo on this start, okay? How about that? <laughs> sorry, some really awkward things happened. This was a stream at first, and I had to end the first stream, restart the second one, and then there was two streams going simultaneously. Um, okay. We're gonna redo this, okay? Watch. Just like brand new. How's it going? Welcome back to more the Tears of the Kingdom. We're finally here, and uh, yeah, after doing the fourth dungeon, we're in uh, well, Kakariko, just for a good starting location to do some quests um, or anything else around the world, because there still is a lot. There's still a few of the geoglyphs we have to get. There is, uh, I don't know, some quests to do, but most importantly, there's one that involves this uh, garland right here. And I always wonder what this is for. It's just a little souvenir. And we could take one, only five rupees. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, there's someone in Gerudo Town who wanted this for a quest. But it wasn't like a written side quest. It was, uh, well, to basically cheer someone up who's going through, like, the whole, like, Bow and You classes. And I think the quest involves literally taking this ring garland all the way over there. And, uh, <laughs> I think it'll be pretty awesome to do because it is quite a ways away. I'm going to quickly put on my HUD again, because I forgot that. <laughs> Sometimes I mess around, I have the HUD off. Um, in order to get it over there, I mean, a horse-drawn carriage would be good. But more importantly, well, mm, I don't want to do aerial stuff. Something that can create a good adventure. Which maybe we can do that from scratch, because we're low on Zonites. We are like, extremely, extremely low on Zonites. <laughs> so, we will have to go to the depths soon. So if we do a cart, that won't go over hills very well. A big tire, um, a stabilizer, and really anything. I, I, a sled? Sleds are fun. Okay. We have to get this ring garland over to Gerudo Town. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> I'm sure we can uh, get a horse carriage too when the time is applicable. We're gonna create the big wheel monster right here. I don't know if I can do it backwards, but... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to work a stabilizer. That should technically work the way I want it to. And a steering wheel? <laughs> Okay, this would be like the front and bumper, you know? Gotta have it a little decorated out. <laughs> we'll just see how this works. Okay. It does. <laughs> Only one wheel because, you know, we gotta maximize the amount of, uh, well, room we have on each side. <laughs> oh, it is not good at turning. Maybe the second wheel will be good for that. <laughs> but stabilizer is still important. Because we can go over jumps and stuff safely then. Oh man. Just immediately going to create this monstrosity. There we go. Okay. And it does the trick. Assuming we get the turning right. Is this turning bad due to the stabilizer? I don't exactly know. 
It's okay, it was almost working. It's okay, you're... Get on. Sorry, it's 0.2 millimeters in a bad spot. And I press attach and then it just goes flying. There we go. See, now this should work. Nice and stable going over this. It is something. We'll take this until we can get a horse. But yeah, welcome everyone for tuning in. Hopefully you're having a great Sunday. Um, not sure what type of start this is. We just ran into major string problems. I was running two streams at once for a minute because my streaming software literally just made my stream into two streams. And I'm like, okay. That is life. Now we got the big wheels. As long as this garland's safe, then I'm happy. So it just keeps going away. I could use you, you know, but there's some birds to shoot out. There we go. Nope. <laughs> not at that angle, we're not. Sometimes it refuses to turn. Ah! <laughs> Can't burn up the garland now. We can take on these guys. Hello. So you're out of there. I might take your fruits while I'm at it. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> run. Give me fruit. Give me fruit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's not hitting us, at least. Wind. There we go. Now I can get your fruit. Foolproof. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still have to figure out what that's for. Um... Some interesting things. Can't really flurry rush you. That bird just won fire. Okay, champions. <laughs> Sages. Water shield. Throw! <laughs> Cut him down. Oh, no. And then a Riju Blast? Yes. Just Sage only gameplay. Oh, and Kulin got him, I think. Just for the first bit of messy combat. There we go. I'll have someone else pick up the pace after this. <laughs> hmm. Whatever I'm doing with some of these weapons. This is my OP 136 damage source. Spear. I love all the weapons in this game are way weaker than Breath of the Wilds. We can get them way stronger. Like, I don't even think there was a single weapon that reached 136. Well, when it has its wetness perk. Oh, I missed. Twice. There we go. <laughs> but headshot the one we didn't need to. Are you that dumb? Just because your friend assisted. What? Oh! <laughs> Hit me twice. It's okay. Just, you turn him over here. I'll spin attack you. And boomerang. No. Bad. Wait, no. <laughs> Love all champion gameplay. Sage. <laughs> In the impending chaos, I don't know what's happening. There we go. Well, a good hit. These are my warm-up strats with uh, all my friends here. No. Bye-bye. They're kind of fun. Lionel Boomerang. It's like, yeah, <laughs> got them from a chest. Like, most of these odd fuses are uh, stuff I just get from chest because it's like, eh, I had a spot for it. Uh, where's my car? Where's my car? It was right here. <laughs> I wish you can get like a GPS tracker for your thing so it just pops up on the map, you know? 
Let's hope he despawned. I hate when vehicles do that in this game. This is why you want to build a horse one. <laughs> if it really despawned, that is miserable. But it's my vehicle. Don't tell me it actually despawned it. That means the garland's gone too. What? <laughs> Why would it do that? Well, it's kind of junky anyways. In order to truly transport this, we need a horse-drawn mechanism. But like, why? Like, sometimes I'm like very far away from it, almost in like some islands and it's still there. But nope. <laughs> Fight a single battle and it just goes bye-bye. Look, I, I don't make the rules here. I just have to live in them. <laughs> okay. Well. I guess what we can do is buy another garland. After this camp. We're clearing the path. We'll take our crappy car just to go to the stable and then get our horse. So as long as we can make it that far, we'll be okay. He's like cocking his head at me like, what's that? Side on. We'll have to side do this. But just you. They're all cool, but <laughs> like just having one out and really, you know, maxing our abilities with just that. Water. Get the wetness perk of my weapon. There we go. As long as we get in that water circle. We have a glowing hammer. <laughs> He's breaking my shield. There we go. Multi hit. <laughs> what am I doing today? Okay, get them both. We're just getting good clusters. It's like I can't even fight. There we go. This has definitely been a rough start. And much better. We're kind of getting back in the swing. And then I'm gonna pop you. Oh, maybe not. Well, you're popped. I'm gonna extra pop you. Ah. <laughs> At least it stops you. Okay, thank you, Sidon. <laughs> Keeping the fight going strong. Oh. Just gotta keep the spin up. There we go. Set on any more water. And then get beamed. Oh no. It's okay. We're doing good. Crack the shield as we get away. There we go. Sorry, Zora Shield. Okay. I'll give you a nice one, and then the guy in back, a nice two. <laughs> okay. Me and Sidon take down the silver evil wizards. Sorry, that was a rough few camps. <laughs> but Sidon, you, you pulled through. With his enthusiasm, we can do, well, a lot. Well, thank you, Sidon. Do we need much more? I don't know. <laughs> Soldier spears are fun. When we do get to fusing them to something. What was in here? That's why I was never looted. <laughs> we don't need more boomerangs. It's nice to have for the elemental distribution, but not too much else. Okay. Lord Fries is up there. 
So we're going to take our plan B, which plan B is plan A, but we actually follow through with that. So get the ring garland out of Kakariko, get it to the stable. Then we take Moga, our tow horse, and uh, just build a thing to tow it to Gerudo. See, our objective is to get the ring garland to Gerudo Town for a quest. So we will. Just somehow. I'm mighty hungry. A little hunger. Hinox hungry. Okay, ring garland sleeping. Mm. Let's go morning here. It means we're gonna have to get it. Hmm. This is the canyon. We can sort it out through there because I know there's some odd terrain. <laughs> By morning, I'm at noon. We have to wait for the garland salesman to be there. See, we would have had it if it didn't despawn it on us, so. Hello, world. For sale again? I'll take one. <laughs> we don't drain my wallet just trying to re get these. But the warm-up's fine to lose it. <laughs> I had to shake the dust off. But now... Hmm. It's gotta have a nice hill. Hilly climb, so... Gotta use the big wheels, and we gotta use... Hmm, steering stick, of course. Sleds are just fun. And then, uh... I'm gonna say no stabilizer. Sometimes going up the hills can be awkward, but <laughs> I'm freaked out. Well, there's zoning ruins everywhere. You should be used to somewhat of it. These are the powers to match the ruins. God. Nothing too awkward, I hope. <laughs> Just a big wheel machine. A little upwards, it's like that front bumper. There we go. It looks nice too. Your decorative piece. Never mind, without the stabilizer, it's more awkward, but. I think it's just awkward enough to work, never mind. Uh, yep, definitely stabilizer. If it snaps off my garland, it, yeah. Keep it there for a few seconds. Put that back on. <laughs> Just to unflip itself. There we go. Why'd I have to snap off? <laughs> this is why we always stabilize. Stabilize if we can easily near center of that. <laughs> we actually have to stop it just enough to go like that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, see it's it's not that bad. Sometimes it'll kind of wonkly just jank a little bit because <laughs> Well, it's trying to stabilize when it really shouldn't be, and all that. And you're with us, yeah, it's... It'll keep its place well. This wasn't a bad thing. We just gotta get this to the stable, and then from there... Just work out. Oh, the signs are always up. I don't know how many more of those we got to help. Hello. See, it's just nice. World and upheaval, but I think I can just 
we'll mess around the entire time just building. We can build our own house. We have the vehicles. It truly feels like our own world. And this time Zelda's not really... I mean, she's still waiting for us, but I think just trapped in the past. However that goes with the story. I don't know. I can't turn. It's not letting me turn. Wait, no, this is where the gloom hands were. Uh, apparently. <laughs> this is the first time we saw the gloom hands were here. And it freaked me out. Do I want to refight him? No, because then my thing's just going to get bonked. Yeah, it's not like, like I have a, another bow slot anyways to put a gloom bow. Just get to the stable. So the objective's fine. Hello. <laughs> yeah, just give chase. They can't burn off my ring garland. If only I could fuse my garland to one of these guys. Run for it! <laughs> don't let me chop you up. <laughs> you don't want this fate. You better move faster, move faster! Go! Go, the combine's coming! Oh! Good turn. Very good turn. <laughs> See? Survival of the fittest. Those guys are fit. <laughs> They're all freaking out. <laughs> Nature's overrun. Nature was for Breath of the Wild. This is Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Just the tears are the cries of nature. With all the mechanicalisms. <laughs> Running about. So. There we go. Oh, it doesn't actually parry. So it's like a spiky box, but I can never get like a proper parry. Which is interesting. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> it was somewhere in that bush, didn't it go? I don't want to cut it. He's got to go to Gerudo Town, you know? Yeah, I knew one day we would make this voyage. Voyage will be a grand one. Makes sense? Everything does. Just a two wheeler stabilized. This is just a sled. Why a pen? Oh my god. Wow. Legendary photo. Okay, we don't need some of these. Uh, we turned that in already. <laughs> okay. I don't want to clear what I have, but we will have to do these quests at some point. Take horse. Um, and of course, our favorite tow horse, Moga. So let's hope Moga can carry the journey here. Also, yeah, welcome to everyone tuning in. We just got off to a bit of a rocky start earlier, so it's all fine now. Streaming bugs seem to be all gone, so. Okay. Well, seems like we don't need this thing anymore. I think I have a, well, we should check the nearby stuff. Never mind. the stable didn't have crap. Schematics. I think there just was like a wagon, yeah. It's 15 just for a basic wagon, though. Mm -hmm. What's down here? Hmm. A build your own sort of thing. There's a raft. I don't know if I want the raft. More so. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's been a while since I built my own wagon. I know exactly what type of wagon to make. It truly has been a while. But. I think it's time for the Mogamobile to strike again. There. Do I have to move my thing closer so it won't despawn? Probably. We're gonna need this. Definitely. Oh, not quite like that. But you know, nice and elevated so we're safe from the world. And then some wheels. Well, I remember the first time I built stuff like this, I was so slow. You finally get the turns, because when stuff's at, like, awkward angles, you know how to adjust yourself or adjust the object. You're even building the starting position of how you turn yourself helps a lot, too. Because that's something that's at some dumb angle like that. Just, like, you know, to flatten it first and then straighten it. There we go. That's a four. And... This adventure will be grand. <laughs> so, all we do is we flip that over. And of course, our most prize cargo on the top. And you go there. Get a ring garland. Sorry, awkward wheeler. Wheeler. It was very awkward. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> and we protect the garland. Uh oh. Ah, it's... Thank you for blocking it. Also, hi, birds. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. More bird pictures. I still have to keep my classic. Can you even hurt these? They wouldn't make these killable, would they? They wouldn't. <laughs> I love that. They're like his personal birds. And yes, I definitely took a gamble by trying. I didn't want to actually hurt them. I just like seeing if I can hurt things. Link's not all omnipotent yet. Link's only powerful when he can hurt a Kuko. Which maybe never. <laughs> but okay, we have the Mogamobile back. It has been ages. <laughs> Last time I was rocking this, uh, before I even left Central Hyrule for the first time. But now, Morgamobile 2.0. It's got the garland. And, hmm, we could, we could spruce it up a little bit. We're going during the nighttime. Let's see, water's cool, but, hmm, put a little light on it. There we go. And you go through the ring garland. Yeah! It's a headlight! Morgamobile 2.0. It is in action. Oh my god. Wait. Sorry. One little tweak. Just a little tweak. We're gonna move the light backwards. Just so it looks extra... Fitting. There we go. We go like that? Okay, perfect. <laughs> it just keeps it in view, so you know what the objective is. Bring this to Grudo Town to help cheer up a villager. Or person. Blue Ruby. We need to make money, too. We're a little broke. This garland costs five rupees. We gotta pay for it twice. Okay. Let's just readjust it. There we go. Look, Grudotown's a bit away. But it's a mean Moga adventure, and this is what we need. Oh man. Hey, look, look at all these fellow carts. I bet they're jealous of this one. It's okay. 
Mogas have weapons. What? <laughs> I can also upgrade Moga too. Because there's more things to cart around. This is our cart horse. Speed's nice, but I might consider doing stamina upgrades. Because you need to turn in uh, food dishes to the horse god to get your horse upgrades. So, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> also, I'm super glad for this. Uh, yeah, light on it. I got some gradual bases. I don't mind. <laughs> it's really hopping around. Okay. And we always know where our horse is. If we see some baddies, I'm going to take them on along the way. Here. <laughs> Easy switch to destroy things. It's your most OP weapon. <laughs> it's not even fair. Go, guys go down like butter. It's basically just free loot. Just stay close. If I'm close, I won't despawn. I think the last time it rolled down a hill. It's our first camp in the journey. <laughs> oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Light it up. <laughs> I believe this is the first cave I saw on the surface. Because you drop her on this area, so it's like, oh, wait, you can actually go inside uh, this rock structure? It was my first horror blood experience. Yeah. Run him over! Yeah! Many times! <laughs> no, it's just blue rupee. Huh. We only jump off if it's like a red rupee. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay, it's good so far. <gasps> oh, Star Fragment! Yeah. It's our lucky day! We're just finding stuff just to uh, carve the way a bit. I hit him, guys. Aw. Thought they would smack into the cart. You can only hope. Oh, yes. In nighttime, if you just kind of look a certain way, the well, star fragments will only fall in view. Like, you'll never have a star fragment fall out of view, unless you're just, like, turning the camera rapidly. But if you're kind of just, like, you know, cruising, and a star fragment falls, it'll always be in front of your camera view. So if you have a long destination, you'll eventually just drop right in front of you. Yeah. Good for the voyage. Yeah. I, I don't know the maximum either. I've gotten two to drop before in a single night. Yeah. But I know if there can't be more than one out at a time. Bees. Ah. To mark that, more beehives, our hearts. A lot of hearts over here. Yeah, beehives are hearts. These are caves that I found when I first did the like offering thing. Stars are just really good things. Uh, usually fairy fountains, but this one's just a huge crab hotspot for no reason. Um, and then chests are things that I I didn't have the tools to do at the time that I have to come back later. Uh, like this one requires Regis ability. These ones are offerings that I, I'm still not sure about. Something Yiga related. But it's not bananas. Oh. Yeah. Still works. We're good. Oh. <laughs> so you got some yeah. fellow carters. No thanks. Don't break my stuff. Ah, no! My lights! Badly damaged my bow because of it. Yep, we might have issues. Hmm. That'll hit. <laughs> it's dead! Now run him over. In harm's way. I haven't quite been to the lake, really. Okay. 
lightning just up ahead. Let's get around this lake. We have about a minute before the fragment disappears. We're still making okay time. And <laughs> that just destroyed everything, didn't it? Oh, I lost the wheel. That's not good. <laughs> Go. In the height of the forest now. I don't need a sun, just go forward. Okay. <laughs> Cannot lose the garland either. Yep, I see it. Your tower music? Nice. There we go. It's right over there. Okay, keep sprinting. Little woods to clear. It's basically a straight shot for it, too. Hopefully it won't disappear. That's my hope. <laughs> Will it? Or is it 5.30? Don't tell me it disappeared. We were just riding straight for it the entire time. Ah, it disappeared all because we lost that wheel. That's so annoying. Also, is there a cave by the... There is a plateau cave. And I'm not helping him because he will reset everything. Man, that was so annoying. We couldn't get the star. It's like the entire time we're just rushing for it. Several minutes. And at horse speed, too. Oh, don't hit me. <laughs> Ow! Busting up my cart. No! Crap, we have to fight. Okay. Oh, splash fruit time. Go! What? It didn't... Splash fruit did not work? There we go. Now it worked. Get them both? One's fine. <laughs> Super OP. For all the good reasons. Keep hitting. You just keep hitting my spikes. Oh, it does pretty good damage against this soul of blue. <laughs> I was able to four shot him. Does it actually do 50? No, I don't know what the damage that is. It would be whatever the damage is on the Talus Heart. Maybe like 20 something? I don't remember. Hunter Bow. <laughs> Wait, I hit the other one. <laughs> I got a perfect headshot on the one that was moving. That was so funny. Hey, Mocha. <laughs> Like, I know the situation kind of sucks right now, but you did your best, truly. Really. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. We move forward a little bit. Well, everything was fine with that star fragment getting all the way. Because, yeah, they despawn at 5 a.m. Fine. If you want to keep going, cart. Where's your natural resting spot? Somewhere very uh, inconvenient. It's kind of low. We're gonna make it work. Because we can only take this so far, anyways. Can't take it into the desert itself. 
That's okay. We got our cart going nicely. Now we just go here. I'm still getting a lot of, you know, monster loot in the process. Instantly gets knocked out without an opportunity of me helping. Do not hurt my horse. Yes! It was quite the opposite, wasn't it? Thank you. Yeah, 136. <laughs> Nice. Okay. So for a little context on uh, this ring garland. Um, it's the one in Gerudo Town who needs it, but it was for like the Vo and Yu classes. So hi, Yiga. I'll take the banana. Actually, no, I won't. Will I? I don't know. Never mind. Context later. After banana. Okay. <laughs> It's not even powered up. It's okay. Sidon is side doing this right now. Okay, and then we charge. What? <laughs> We're late with all of our punches here. Nice. But a purple rupee just for that. Yeah. I don't need this stupid line all the morning. I feel guilty about dropping stuff I just picked up, but eh, if I use it a couple times, I'm fine then. But anyways, for context on this, uh, so Ring Garland, we are taking this to uh, Gerudo Town because for one, the Vo and Yu classes, in order to get the Grudos accustomed with how to talk to the Vo, aka us, we need to do something for him. So. For one thing, we just had to wear a mask, and uh, they're a lot more comfortable with that, just with uh, like talking to us, because you not have to see our face. Another one, we just had to get him a drink, so they're just extra friendly beforehand. And then for the third one, we literally have to bring him a garland to cheer him up, because they're still in distress from the last relationship. So yeah, this one takes significantly more work. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> We have to go about this carefully now. Very carefully. Okay. Do a little bit of looting. Yeah, a lot of nice stuff nearby. Woods. <laughs> Oh, very good. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Ruins. Now we take this slow. So, we came all the way from here. And we're already here. And we gotta go here, so... There's a map unit, so we're more than halfway. But now we gotta cross the canyon. Can we even take a horse through here? That's a good question. Uh oh. Ah, this should not be working, but it is. Uh oh. Ah, slide over. Yes! We got it! We did it! Woohoo! Nice. Thank you, Moga. That was a good grand finale for this. Sorry, that was so funny. Okay. Now, I think this is where we have to part, Ring Garland. It was a good ride. We need to figure out how to commence Plan B here. How do we go about this? Hmm. I guess just a basic little wheelie device. AKA something I don't have built. Um, trying to do as much as I can without air vehicling. What sort of thing are we trying to do? A wagon? A three wheeler? 
How about we just pick it up for now? Because I know pretty soon we will have to cross that river. Hmm. That's a great point. So let's be very careful with this. Gerudo Town is getting closer and closer. The heat is unbearable too. There we go. Okay. Also, I should mention that the delivery time for this thing is at nighttime because we can only do this at nighttime. So, if we make it there early or late, we have to wait. And it's 12.55 right now. So, if we get it over in eight minutes, it should be just in time. Yeah, I think we did this quest, or we started it like a week ago, but, you know, obviously we did other things in between, like the Zora quest line, because I couldn't delay it for this quest. But as soon as we get to the water, we'll be able to ride this upstream. The crows. Oh, I love the changed canyons, though. Such a cool area. I guess there's that gradual road, but... Hmm. We're going to see how we can do this now. Not like I can get a horse here easily. Okay. We're like halfway to the water already. So no sense in building a vehicle without having to change it drastically for the water section. If there's any little camps, I can take them on. No camps, just crows. I might as well get free meat. The point is air vehicle-less. I think we got most of the things in this side of the canyon. It was just, uh, well, yeah, the southern section, or even like the top. Wait, how do we, there we go. We didn't get anything up there. I saw a Gliok, though, in this whole south section now. Eventually, yeah, Highlands is untouched, besides where the tower was. But it's just a huge world. There we go. All right, Ring Garland. <laughs> Moga did a good job bringing us here. We're gonna have a back bumper. <laughs> this is efficient. <laughs> Just a scraper. Still faster though. Uh, <laughs> why is that working? I have no idea. It really shouldn't be. Well, that's the water cave that leads to uh here. So you couldn't take it that shortcut across. But that shortcut, yeah, we really couldn't take this up a waterfall easily. Okay. Now plan C. Is that temporary vehicle was just a plan B. We have that. Take up on the current wheels. What? Oh. I guess that all comes bundled together. No. There we go. Ring Garland, I will not lose you. There we go. Very far from your homeland. It doesn't have a steering wheel, so you know what? I guess a f eight wheeler. <laughs> it's a giant snake. <laughs> yeah, snake up the waterfall. <laughs> well, this does the trick. Extra grippy to anything. <laughs> yeah, the snake mobile. Everything's a mobile of some sort. I love this area. Go, yes. <laughs> Infinite grippiness. Infinite options to grip onto things with. And then somehow we can just keep going up there. I 
don't know how this works. We're so close. It's okay. Now the assist. Is there a stealing world on the other side? Huh. There was. Peculiar. <laughs> how did it work with the steering wheel still on the other side? I have no idea. But okay. We'll just go across the water. It shouldn't. It should not. <laughs> I would hate to drench my thingy, too. Is that a thing I could mess up? Yeah. I'm not risking that. We got this thing far. It's gotta go to the town. Uh, perfecting that catch. Trying to. Okay, for this, the longer the platform, the better. Because if it's too short, then... Doesn't have enough uh, flat base to stay afloat. But yeah, surface area is good. I think I can catch it. There we go. Right in front. Nice wreath. Oh. We have that. Go ahead. We're barely going, getting wet at all. Yeah. Let it do its thing. We're doing great. We're mostly through the canyon. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice. The sun rays sticking through the canyon. And then fades out. I mean, that cave is a way upwards, but I don't know if I want to go up just to go back down. Yeah, because it'll lead up like there, which doesn't do a lot for us. However, this way would be of grand help. Imagine there's a waterfall cave there. As much as I want to find out. You know what? Yeah, I can't do it with the ring garland because uh, if I get too far from it, it'll just despawn and I can't risk that this far. But basically all these areas that we are passing, I do want to check out after this. So first we're doing the path to see stuff and then maybe find out. Because I know around here there's some cool stuff too, like, I don't know, a special door I saw. It's like a Yiga thing. Yeah, there's like a door you can only enter as a Yiga clan member, but I didn't have the armor yet. And that was the thing that made me believe, like, wait, is there Yiga armor in this game? Uh oh. No. No. We slipped. Five, four, three, two. Okay, it didn't plumpy. I can't. Oh. Someone pulled out a meeble room and I'm like, huh? There we go. That was mildly close. Oh, then it's gonna be that annoying, huh? The... Wait, we could have just went this way? <laughs> I knew that. Oh, wait. <laughs> At least if the garland's not breaking, then I'm happy too. My soul's breaking though, just <laughs> eat everything. Uh, I don't know, what's something I could just eat for effect? Or cold resistance, I guess. There we go. It gives them extra hearts too. That's fine for now. We'll stay in, in to get more. Uh, 
getting close. I think it's all just a path now, so I might take in a vehicle. Quickest one we can make, uh... Yeah, if it's a straight shot, I'm just gonna make something with uh, a speed vehicle. So speedy wheels, and a cart. Speed. Speed, speed, speed. Got it. Let me get there fast. We still have a couple minutes before the, the class ends, I believe, so... I don't know what time it ends at. I think it goes past midnight, though, so we're fine. Another place change. Oh, wow! That is very speedy. That is so speedy. I forgot how fast that thing is. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, once we get all the canyon, that'll be really good, but... Oh, wow. Yahoo! <laughs> Jeez, every turn. You know, if you think we take it on and off, we should be able to get there faster than not having it, so... My cart won't be able... Someone will get over this... Yep, it, it did somehow, and then didn't. <laughs> it's okay, just get all the canyon. This is perfect. This is straight, simple... No. <laughs> Auto correction every two seconds. Perfect Hyrule engineering. <laughs> We're good, yeah! <laughs> oh my god, this is fast. We have a race car now. And then we fly off. We're going to the town. Gruna City, we're almost here! Woohoo! Yeah! Oh wow, the sand is not good for this. Oh wow, yeah. Uh... Well, final phase of the operation. We take a sand seal. Hey. Rent one. Slay seal. All right. <laughs> now let's take this thing over. All right, let me take our garland. I was hoping I wouldn't override that at first. Like, did you have it too close? Nah. But okay. Garland, let's go. Right to the desert. A whole cross country journey. First getting out of Kakariko with uh. Awkward two-wheeler, stabilized, but got it to be stable, then took our Morgomobile all the way to the edge of the Grudo Canyon. Then walked it, made a car, so we can go through some of the canyon, made a much longer car so we could uh, get up the river. Then a speed bolt to get to the rest of the de desert. And then, uh, well, <laughs> a sand seal journey to take it all the way to Grudo Town. Just don't get stopped here. Hey. Thank you. Oh my god. This is it. And right up straight to the... I think this is the east gate. Because it's respective to where the throne room is. Time for training area? Nope. Time for garland. Go! <laughs> Take it to the class. Oh my god, we really did this. <laughs> Besides that first failure, uh, failed early, but we got it. And for extra speed, um, I, I know you're somewhere here, sand boots. Yep. No debuff. <laughs> Screw it. Extra speed, we have it somewhere, right? Nowhere, we must hit. Oh, never mind. Omelette. <laughs> Screw it, and it's food. Secret map, cool. Taking this to class. This should cheer up the person so we can help them out, and I think everyone will be happy then. I was waiting to do this. It's a unmarked quest in the game. I want to help out everyone. Yep, there we go. Yes, take it in. Boom. All right, 
Teach class? Yes. Count me in. Hi. Pay attention. F <laughs> Very special lesson. Oh. Show us what you know. There's the ring garland. <laughs> yep. The Abandoned Love by Luck by Happiness. When you setting yourself up for disaster by talking with someone like me. <gasps> yep. They, there's nothing I can share about besides a certain souvenir from a certain Nakluda village. Mm. Your own worst enemy. Always putting yourself down. Pushing away your own oh. happiness. Oh. Yep. We just need to find a way to give it to her. Yep. Delton's still feeling the pain from last relationship and it's taking a toll. She would help her. She mentioned a certain accessory that would help her connect with others. Those only come from that village in Nakluda off to the east. So, we'll talk to them. I saw it again. Uh, is, is this not it? Huh? What? That was not it! I've been waiting to do this for ages! Hi. Okay. Hope it's not the CC hat. Yeah, this ring garland is supposed to help you connect with others. It's supposed to be ceremonial and happy and bring good luck and fortune. And it comes from a village in Nakluda off to the east. I thought that was what this whole thing was for. Right, do I have another accessory? What? I have like everything in the game almost. Uh, a certain accessory comes from Nakluda. Um, an apple? No. Uh, tomato? No. Jewelry sold here. Cheese? <laughs> Cheese is an accessory. <laughs> what else comes from a village in the east? No, I feel like it's, I just, is it where I can talk to her while holding it? Oh! Wait, I can fuse it to something, right? <laughs> Which means that would have been a much easier truck. Okay. Do you want it on a sword? Like, do you want it on a shield? Maybe. I don't want to have to waste it, you know, but did I just have to fuse it to something? I I have to make sure this won't work. And now the class ended.
What is even going on? I'm like disappointed majorly. Yeah, what what other certain accessory would be from a village in East Nakluda? Is either the ring garland or the CC hat? <laughs> It's like nothing else. They did everything in those villages. Hey. Okay. Hey. I think I need a relaxing stay at the inn. No, I don't. Basa. I like being tense. Huh. Keeps me on edge. Huh. Uh, okay. Um, that's but a bop. Go to nighttime again. That's very. Um. There's a word for it. Annoying. But yeah, let's test out this ring garland shield. It's gotta be one of these things. Maybe they didn't expect you to literally move a ring garland across the map. I just thought it was a really, you know, hidden quest. Hey. No way. No! 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 You cannot do that! You can't do that! It's on my shield. It's stuck there. You can't take it off. You can't bring it to him normally, but it... <laughs> You're joking. That's all I had to do was fuse it? Okay, I'm not taking anything back from that journey. That was so much fun. The only disappointing part was missing out on that star fragment, but I don't know. We had so many different travel memories. It's it's the journey that counts, but still. <laughs> to know that could have been a much bigger shortcut. Yep. <sighs> but it's somebody, you don't even see it right now. It's not even there. It's not in any visible view. It was right in front of your face last time. But I'm happy that it cheers you up, so. <laughs> My disappointment just turned up excitement and also confusion, but happiness? What are the odds that something sold in the village that far? Far away to the east would make it all the way here. Carried by this foe of all, though. Only will I can actually enter oh. town. Time to visit this class and talk to me. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's a stroke of destiny. Something just so odd and bizarre happening. <laughs> what an amazing series of events. That can only mean that I haven't been forsaken by luck and love. <laughs> yeah, some things just happen on a very slim hair chance. And those things feel special. Yeah. Important to remember that luck and love aren't things that run out. Sometimes they just take a long way to get to you. As your teacher, I'm very happy to see you motivated again. There we go. Okay. So that was the point of the ring garland. Oh. I couldn't help everyone grow on my own. The best way for students to learn is with some practical experience. So Kaza for your help. <laughs> Hardly the end of the lessons though. Aw, yay, we helped him out. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> okay, I think we helped everyone. <laughs> oh. I think they're gonna be better now, so. <sighs> You've traveled all over, haven't you? You've seen that fluffy light ice that floats on from the sky. <laughs> I mean, it's right next to the highlands. It's not that foreign to them. I haven't even seen it myself. But one day, I and the boy am fated to meet. We'll see it together. <laughs> sure, sharing experiences with your true love is a magical thing. Oh. <laughs> you're just, they're just practicing on you, which is okay. <laughs> yeah, they're improving. Both can be very alert to the words we use to describe things. It can really help both of you learn. You're meant to be. Discovering an experience is magical captures how you feel about it. <laughs> that openness can be a double-edged sword. It's like actually interesting perspective. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's the next person? Hi. <laughs> a very special lesson. Is it always the same person now? <laughs> Because at first it was the other two first. Oh. Never seen it. Oh. I haven't seen it either. Hope one day I and the Vo I am fated to meet will see it together. <laughs> sure, sharing experiences with your true love is a magical thing. Oh. There we go. So it's interesting. It was literally a whole side quest in this game that 
Wasn't even marked. Didn't have a big reward, but it seems like everyone's personalities will be changed. Because this person was always gloomy. I don't know. So maybe talking during the day, they'll be different now. Interesting. Well, we have this cool shield. And, uh... Hmm. What else to do here? There is the, uh, weapon to get. The Simtar of the Seven and the Daybreaker. We can do that during the day. Yeah. <laughs> Topaz spawn. Banana gem. Okay. Did they have to do it out of jail yet? They did not. <laughs> One year they will. But man, we got the ring guard on the cross in our own way. Who knew it would actually be so simple? Because I'm like, you can't unfuse stuff unless you go to Terrytown. So I assume we would have actually have to bring it. Hello. Who's the person for the Daybreaker? I don't need that one. Uh, Bottle Cry for Help. Alright, I have to get these pictures. One of them's for the Sword in the Highlands, and the other one is for um, Spectacle Rock. So I'm trying to find the one for the Centaur of the Seven. I must have just passed it twice like you usually do. Pride of the Gerudo. Yep, I was not looking at the right one. It was you. So we need uh, a Gerudo Centaur. We need a Gerudo Shield, which we have. But I kind of don't want to give that one up. <laughs> That's kind of our pride and joy now. It looks nice with the outfit. Like, flower... Nice, elegant look. <laughs> so, that's why we have our compendium. Let's go to Gerudo, Gerudo, Gerudo. Shield first. Oh, there's one nearby. Maybe like the armory area? Oh, <laughs> taking the... <laughs> Odd man stairs. It's gotta be here, hasn't it? There's probably all the weapons, isn't there? Look down below. What? Is it leading me to that person's... Yeah. <laughs> of course it would be. Well, that's not helpful. Um, you know what has the Gerudo weapons? The uh, Lightning Temple. I didn't even think about that. Lightning Temple is like everything in it. There's just like loose spawns of all the weapons if you want to get them again. So I never had to go back for that reason. But yeah, I like how this dungeon uh, you know, has like a whole intro segment and... Uh, you know... As much as it's like the dungeon section, there's also like a build-up section with just Groot architecture. Maybe not for the shield, but at least the sword had it. We'll find that shield, it's okay. Mm. Sword, 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 sword. One-handed. Gerudo. There it is. <laughs> where I was already attached to a body. There we go. Down below. In the basement. Okay. That's why he first got over. This place is so cool. Fun. I don't have a sneak strike weapon anymore, sadly. Don't burn my garland away. That's ice fruit. <laughs> the opposite of what we want here. Splash. There we go. And then more for you. What? 
Not enough staggering. Okay. Side on. There we go. <laughs> Lots of water damage. I love this place. Sadly, the music's all gone. Uh, or exactly what it be? Maybe. Yeah, I think it'll be one of the much earlier rooms. Goodbye, atmosphere. <laughs> oh, hello, Gibdo. I don't know what I still need those for. Maybe, uh. Upgrading the skeleton set to max? <laughs> the traps are gone. What if we went up where the trap was? No. <laughs> Just boots you out. Okay. Uh, I'm sure if we turn on right and then... Right? Yep. <laughs> Where you grew the weapon. There was an easy one in Gerudo Town, uh... In Breath of the Wild, but a lot of the locations are changed. There we go. Uh, fire fruit, and that's cheaper. I still love this bow a lot. Too. Down below? Oh. One of these. Ah! There we go. It's in the grave. There we go. Our soldier spear. We need that to make our Simtar the Seven. I hope we go like that. <laughs> Maybe it'll take us out. Maybe it'll take us. Oh. Well, after this one. We could we have started the dungeon early with that? I'm just like thinking about how many potential skips there are in this. Because like. Yeah, I guess you could just ascend to the temple right away if you wanted to. Um, so many times there was like a slower route because it's the first time you're doing it. Or like things how it's like, you could probably get things like the Zora helmet early uh, before doing water dungeon. Even before you get the riddle for it. Why did I do that? <laughs> So yeah, when I replay this game, I'm gonna keep all that in mind and be like, wait a second. There's a lot I could do to like cheese it. But cheesing it because it's fun, not because I wanna actually watch things. Okay, now we're going outside. After this. Can I get out here? I'm hoping I can. Yes! Literally being able to take our own entrances and exits out of places. Yeah. I never actually searched the structure, so I assume there's Koroks. <gasps> oh, there's a lot of stuff. This adventure is very mixed match. It's whatever we feel like doing. That was the theme of today. I stole my Fron Guster. I actually do want to get a Rita weapon to replace uh, the Guster mirrors. This is kind of nice. Got some crappy hammers, yeah. There we go. What's that? Was that the boss room? Yeah, it just... There's an open ceiling? When did that get there? I don't think that would have always been there. Interesting. Not very good loot though, sadly. Our weapons are going to cost us four diamonds. Yeah, no Korok sensor, so... Okay, now we get two and back. Such a cool place. 
Yeah. I think today just I've been doing all like the back of mind stuff. Like, huh? I never won in the temple before. I never did this before. That's where the Gerudo skeleton cave was. Uh, which we found some bones in. I feel like that's relating to a quest that we got recently, where we have to check out one of the uh, yep, the fossils. Because I feel like we have to take these fossils and bring it to her. Except this is their first location. And Loon is the person uh, that... Yeah, they're like the guardian obsessed person in Breath of the Wild. And now their hobby is shifting to, uh, well, obsessing over Leviathan bones. Oh, so yeah, there is a bunch of loot. <laughs> I never tried checking the temple before. Nice. But that's awesome. go. Banana gem. Salt. Uh, I don't have a long throw hammer weapon, sadly. I usually try to have one. Because they're slow otherwise. Oh, this is very cool. I didn't... Well, I was half thinking there might be stuff there, but... I even seeing like that chest tucked away is kind of cool. Like... Oh. They actually put something there. Right, that's a plot. Never mind. Hello, golden sun. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they put a lot here, honestly. Kind of random stuff, but... Stuff. They knew people would check this. My question is, there's probably a Korok in here, too. Just very annoyingly. Thank you. Makes sense. The temple is buried. There's a bunch of buried loot. Gems. Cool. Oh, there's a Radiant Shield on it. That's awesome. Sorry to that. <laughs> okay, that's how you get another one. <laughs> yeah. Berry Temple, Gemstones. Temple that makes sense. Nothing that's directly visible from the bottom either. Yeah, the other dungeons didn't really have, well, obviously, an interlude segment, which also means that, uh, they didn't really have many, uh, areas where you can get the, like, regional loot. This dungeon was, like, the only one. Besides the shields, you get, like, all the weapons and stuff, and, like, the tombstones in the dungeon. So I thought that was cool. It was definitely made to be, like, the grand dungeon sort of thing in the game. So I appreciate that. Everything else was fun, though. Um... The two sky dungeons were very much so a sum of the two parts. The dungeon itself and then the whole ascent is getting there. Which we just did Waters last stream the other day and it was a blast. Love the air one too. Um, but the water dungeon had that little gravity in there. So cool. Very open. And yeah, I just like how there's a depth dungeon too. In the Goron segment, it was a lot more just open in a way. Because there's so much distraction within the mines. So it's like, if I were to rank the dungeons, or even the segments, I I couldn't even tell you. This might have to take the cake as the best dungeon. Yeah. Maybe minus points for, like, you know, it definitely does the desert trope very well. But, you know, there's many, many video games where the desert dungeon is done by just highlighting three light towers and the pyramid rises from the center. So it does it very well. I like all the light puzzles in this. Uh, but I can probably name three games I played this year that had the same, like, desert temple entrance slash theme. It's a pyramid. Which is why I like dungeons like, uh, even things like, like Vondaboris from Breath of the Wild. Like, wasn't your typical dungeon, but 
Yeah. Long story short, this was awesome, but Zelda does like Zelda Desert sections never miss. Love the Guru Desert in this game, Breath of the Wilds. Uh, Skyward Swords Desert's awesome because it has that like like the desert stuff mixed with like the futuristic stuff with like the ancient tech kind of thing. And there's like time shift stones to go between the two arrows. So that was cool. A Twilight Princess was awesome because it had the whole Arbor's Grounds execution zone. Which I like the little reference to it in this game too. I can actually see like the Gibdos in the depths and like the last remnants of Arbor's Grounds that sunk. So that was kind of cool. Also, I think we got everything. I'm kind of just checking and I think we just got lucky by finding those couple loot pockets. I'm still going to check because I feel like we're still missing one thing. There's only one more quick run after this. And I'm glad I have my sand boots on. Makes it so much speedier. Max stamina for the matter. But yeah, I'm just really, yeah, very fond of this game. Any criticisms I have is just kind of in the moment. It's not really criticism, it's more so just, I guess, sharing a feeling. It's like... Like, could I have made this game better? No. Like, this is amazing. And that's how Zelda games always are, and they're great. There we go. Okay, there was some more stuff. Some, some capsules, some ore deposits, some chests. Nothing too fancy, but you can get that radiant shield, which is nice. And then final layer, just to be thorough. I don't believe so. No Korok, so. Because it's such a big structure, it's like... They have to be selective where they put Koroks, because otherwise it's like... be too tedious to check everything. Because most Koroks you can kind of see from a bird's eye view. But like, for a whole structure like this, they'll add some loots, but nothing that adds to, like, you know, an actual objective. Still nice that it's there, because I was like... Cool, free stuff. But okay, quickly I'm gonna look for a shield. Because there's gotta be one around. Even just like enemy camp shield, you know? Enemy camp shield. Please. And yeah, we can also kill some Moldugas too, because they are worth a ton of money. Oh my god, we need like. Hot, hot protection. Okay. Make my little sand sled. Oh, it has the ring girl on it, too. Sadly, it won't stay like that, but... Okay. Let's kill some Waldugas looking for a, uh, Gruner shield. Otherwise, we did a lot of the stuff here. Don't need more silvers. It's okay. Oh no! <laughs> ah! Don't be sucked in. I need, I'm gonna pin Maldugo locations too because the loot is awesome. In fact, to do so, let's switch between that and Maldugo. There should be at least four. At least I think so. There was. Don't remember exactly, but. That's okay. Shield as we go as well. Some enemies have to have them. Possibly. There was some chest loot to it I didn't pick up. No Maldugas? I could have sworn there was some around. There we go. Okay, if this is the only camp we got then. Woo! It slid right back on. I love how we carry that momentum in. Can we do it again? 
and splash arrow. If we do that, we should be able to get wet from it. Yes. <laughs> no, what? I know we're getting wet from this. There we go. Do we dry extra fast because it does hurt? I have no idea how the wet staff works. <laughs> it's too OP though. Oh no, wait. My ship. Okay. Well, that's the end of that weapon. It was really awesome though. I'm gonna miss it. But good things come to an end. And that's life. Extra Can make a super powered knight's claymore weapon. Also, I could try to go to depths to get more of those extra shiny Zor weapons. That sounds like a pretty good plan. <laughs> Tons of these. And plus more Zonite to build stuff. That's too dangerously low now. Oh, there's two chests in here. Maybe there's a Gerudo shield. Of course, the scimitar. We just, we just got one of those. Okay, now I'm trying to get the Safalina. Right, yeah. So. Get more of the guts, good for cooking. The Gruda shield for the Gruda weapon and Mulduga stuff for good money. Because yeah, the guts sell for like 110 a piece. We get about four of them for Mulduga. But if we cook them, they're worth even more. So a single Mulduga kill can yield us like an 800 cell value dash, which is very good. See, I'm loving my ring garland shield. Just where all are the Muldugas? Do some get removed with uh, finishing the quest? Oh no, what? <laughs> we got too close. No. No! No, no, no! Oh, that was close. That was very close. Hold on. I need more of your parts, though. So. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> Water! You shock. Ah! No! <laughs> he actually got me. <laughs> Thank you, Sidon. Puts it away stylishly. Yeah, me hungry again. Uh, nothing's gonna help us. Wait, we always have like some dumb thing to eat, don't we? What's like high health for no reason that I made accidentally? Not much, to be honest. Hot weather attack. That just adds a little fire. Cooking will be our next stop. Yeah, I'm... There's no Maldugas around. Oh. <laughs> Speaking too soon. Always. There we go. Lift off! That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, this area was where uh, Shrine Quest was in Breath of the Wild. You have to light the four torches that were on each of those stone platforms. And a shrine appear in the middle. Okay, I will do go. What? He hits through it! <laughs> I thought it was gonna launch me. Like, without the damage, you know? That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> what sort of things do we do, anyways? There we go. Something like that. Splash fruit. There we go. <laughs> it's so OP. 
Moldings are really weak in this game, too. You can basically outrun them now, and they don't hit you. Unless you charge them like I did. But it's, it's a different story. More guts. It's like 800 rupees. One kill. More than a diamond. It's not bad. Not too bad. Um... Just a good hitty sort of weapon, you know. Be a good flurry rusher. You know, even like that. Yeah, I need another whip sword because they're fun. Yeah, I like my whip swords. Also, I assume my vehicle's nuked to oblivion. <sighs> I did it to myself. <laughs> but okay, there's a the Mulduga there. So just like there was in Breath of the Wild. Mm. Let's see now. Still trying to figure out what that construct thing is. I think it's a flying thing because I I read in one of the things that Zelda wrote some flying constructs. So that might be a boss or something. Or maybe I was misinterpreting it. Um, let's go back to our compendium and let's get a shield for us. Me forgetting that shield's under weapon. Okay. Gerudo shield. I don't want to use this really nice one that I have. Someone's got to have one, right? Okay, anyways, yeah, that's our last thing we can make. So please make this count. So it could be in the chest too. If only can highlight multiple things at once. <gasps> the Grudo Secret Stash! Wait, I wonder if there's a shield in there. I wonder if that still exists in this game. Also, hello, Sans. <laughs> bye bye. Going. It's okay, we'll be safe. Oh, no, we're not. Far from it. Okay, not for you, and you too. Yep, and you. Okay. Let's get them all. Where's that guy coming from? Oh, he fell! In the sea. That's not gonna help, really. A little bit. I don't want your loot sinking on me, so. Oh, well, that's very deep quicksand. <laughs> okay. Well, that gets some hearts, too, so. We got this. We got it. Yeah. Perfect. There's always something to grab onto. This is a neat camp. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> Well, thanks for kicking me back, I guess. Uh-oh. Shield with that. Don't chain, though. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, a tail. There's so many bomb barrels. This is interesting. You can't get over. You do very low damage, too. Ow. Uh-oh. <laughs> There we go. I'm just gonna shoot it right out of the air. Never mind. I did nothing. Bye bye. Right to me. <laughs> Whip him away. Woo! <laughs> Close. Not that one. Sidons. <laughs> nice. Water bullet. How many arrows do we have? We're using quite a few. I keep maxing out, so it's like. 
More bombs. Was well, indeed a bomb camp. Oh, so nice. Okay, now I get my raft back. Oh wow, it didn't despawn. That's nice. It's being extra generous today. Go. <laughs> I love fooling around. Okay, we're following this planer thing. I'd assume maybe the secret stash is there because there's the whole spiral <laughs> next to another depths pit I see. Interesting. That might be something. Wonder what that is. But yeah, the Gruda secret stash was there in Breath of the Wild. A lot of Gruda loot. So let's see if it's still there. I know some caves got covered up in this game, but hopefully not that one. I like it too much. Uh oh, ow! Guess melt with that because we have the resources now. I don't feel guilty. <laughs> Woo! Whippy mode. Oh, nice. <laughs> Cut. It's time to cook, <laughs> I think. Um, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Monster stews aren't the best, but it's something. He thinks it's tasty. <laughs> Poultry pilaf. Uh, seafood rice balls. There we go. And apparently I need the defense up, but it's fine. Getting rid of miscellaneous stuff to make way for better meals. So there's a hard limit on foods that I keep cutting. Okay, so we have to go past the ice house. Doable. Oh. Is that worth it? One could argue. Oh, there's electric baths. I think we can just keep jumping off, making a quick pop. Like that. Oh, wait. But I'm on my raft. <laughs> Who's the real loser? <laughs> Me still. Because I have to re-eat now. I forgot, you can't really headshot these guys. <laughs> Unless you want that. me out. That's fine. <laughs> as long as you get a tail. We're not getting tails. They're too rare for no reason. It makes them more valuable, so why not? Um, this is where we pull a cooking pot and just let the universe kind of do whatever. Okay. When we need it, we'll have a hearty. Next time we get Hatsun. We're just so tanky now. We're not getting really one shot. Or anything close for that matter. Little constructs. These are good because I need these parts for something. I don't remember exactly what's, but... What the? <laughs> get sanded. Uh oh. Whoa. Now we're chilly. So now we gotta put on chilly armor. Just a tad. Using up these Lionel bows. We finally found where two more are. There's one right by Link's house. And another one. Uh, right where that guardian was in the uh, giant swampling Zoro's domain. I buy all my stuff. Oh no. When he comes back to shore, then we'll... Oh, never mind. The loot will come back. I don't mind. We just really had to break that bow up. That's going fast. 
fast. I stole another. Ah, get all the sand. Easy. Two hits. Soldier 3's, Captain's 4's. Oh, yeah, that Korok! Uh oh. Oh my god, we can just restore that. Wait. Okay. Fine, be that way. We can just restore in the sand now. <laughs> so there's no threat, you're saying? There is no threats, just. <laughs> that would actually die here, you know? This way we can get the Korok. Hey, 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 hey! I'm in control. Yeah! <laughs> need to reach your friend, then I got you. Hey, hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Fine. <laughs> uh, the Yiga Valley. You can do that. <laughs> they always cut you to go in different directions. Hopefully this isn't too heavy. If it is, I don't care. We're doing it anyways. Oogie. Let's go. I, I love messing around. This is too much fun. Making gradual progress, more stuff for our armor upgrades. Maybe have a goal, just explore more of the world and see where that takes us. Yeah, even doing that little quest with the ring garland earlier was very fun. Because, yeah, the whole journey around, we got some pretty interesting insights on locations. Like, there was a cliff thing underneath the Great Plateau, or a cave. That would be interesting to do. Grudo Shield! There we go. <laughs> Let's find that Grudo Shield. Uh oh. Ah! No! Okay. Can't be that annoying. Where was the Grudo Shield? Uh, there we go. Over here. I didn't see anything over here before. I felt very... <gasps> Unless it is pointing to the secret stash. I think so. Sorry, Peppers. Here, you need to stay put. No, I think it is pointing to the secret stash. Yep, it definitely is. Okay. Either that or somewhere nearby. <laughs> we'll just go to that. Yeah. So far, I think all caves but three from Breath of the Wild have been expanded. But those three were boarded up, so... I was worried the Gerudo secret stash would be boarded up too. Watermelons. <laughs> I know we're only looting like half the stuff, but okay, fine. Miss one pack, loot the other. I don't even know. We just have so much stuff. I don't need 65 watermelons. I don't think. I can't stop for everything. And plus, we can grow stuff in Nintendo. Not watermelons. I'm always more fond of wheat and uh, rice. Because they're slow to get in the world. Unless you're just cutting grass like crazy. Uh. Oh, it hit a tree. I need to perfect a method of like hitting it and still passing by. So hopefully I can do that. Like, because if you jump forward, you keep the momentum, we can land back on it. That's what I'm trying to do with this. And be like, ah, almost, <laughs> but we didn't even get the fruit. Also the ice house, we didn't go here. I wonder if anything was changed. Probably still an ice house. Indeed. 
The ice is gone! Yeah, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Ice holes, where we store ice. Made from the snow melts from the Gerudo Highlands. Yeah. Oh. Probably wondering where all the ice is. It got so hot that it melted. Mm. Yep, Noble Canteen uh, uses ice from here. And can't deliver it. Oh! Well, now, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we can make it snow. I don't know, Highlands can make ice? They've been in the ice house for too long. <laughs> Have as much ice as you want. It's free now, there's ice fruits. If it's possible to make a hunk of ice that fits nicely in that alcove, that'll be ideal. Oh. What happens if we... Do you want it melted down? I think so. Good thing we have plenty of fire weapons. <laughs> Not. So you just want it smaller then? Yeah, however, you want it all the way up, don't you? Mm. I wouldn't argue that there is now ice in the alcove. That much is true. But how much ice? Just too small. <laughs> if it's around the same width, that's fine. Be idealistic about the ice measurements. Like, it is true that there is, but that's not what I asked for, you see. We put ice and more water. What if we made a water source and then iced it? Is that even a thing we can... That doesn't even make sense. But at the same time? I'm just curious. Like, what if we just literally splash these two together? No. I don't know if we could make like instant ice or something. Maybe if you get it perfectly enough, who knows? You can't cut this, can you? No. It's not like a thing. There you go. Guess you just need more ice, you know? Like, ice of greater proportions. If there's a certain amount of units of ice in there, we'll be fine. There we go. Use it up. That's totally okay. That's what it's here for. Is there a more efficient way? I guess if we had a rod, but that requires like a ruby or something expensive. What is the requirement here? How much ice do you need? Let's make an ice block. What if we just fuse it together? I can't cut the ice. I think I haven't really tried no, but still. Make a little ice pyramid. There should be a great amount of ice. Yeah. That is perfect. I don't see any complaining. Ice is ice. However. What now? That much is true. Not a lot. Not a lot. If the ices were on the same width as the alcove, that should do fine. Maybe if we make it in a smaller area? I'm wasting all my fruits doing this, but... 
I can't make blocks, it just makes sheets. Uh <laughs> excellent point. Wait, we do have a frost emitter. I totally forgot about that actually. Which is not ideal because Oh wait, the ramp maybe? No. Yeah, see? Ice fruits are still the way. Or an ice rod, but... I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't plan on using this. Let's ice... Maybe the longer we have it kind of emitted? Hmm. It wasn't a bad idea, just... Thank you, you know? This is very shallow water. Now we can't even make it in. I guess it's just that, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. I guess just make like a bunch of them, stack them neatly. Like a little factory block, you know? Let's do like five high. But just barely melt them. Four high. Does it try and tell me that there's a way to cut these? Because I'm. That's not something I'm seeing, you see. We can try a torch method. Just light our weapon on fire and then just gradually melt it. Nope, hurts me, but not my weapon. Yeah, indiscriminately do this. So that melts the fuse immediately. There we go, like that. Uh, so annoying. Okay, we'll just have to do that once more. This is relatively the same size. It burns off my leaf. Oops. <laughs> I guess now it's just a normal torch. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because it's a normal torch. So. <laughs> Instantly slides me away. Thanks. Okay, now, it's still mostly the same size. Can I cut them? I just didn't figure that out. No. <laughs> like an ice cutter as a tool. Didn't get that dungeon item yet. You just want it in there, don't you? But if he's a fire fruit, it would be too much. We are at the... I guess this works too. What? Don't just instantly do a bunch right at the end. <laughs> Most annoying quest the war goes to. <laughs> Okay, that is a lot of ice, and you're in the alcove. Vertical does not work, because too tall. That's technically right, though. So what's the problem here? We can't make ice blocks, we just make sheets. <laughs> Okay, 
So that's good. I don't care. Just melt it like that. Easier. If you're mad at this, I don't know what to tell you. Are we just all the way, right? Just put it in there. No. Wasting all my fruits this way. There doesn't seem to be a better way to do it. Okay. This will be the perfect ice cube. What happened? Wait, ice. There we go. Okay, that is... <laughs> I guess just have a bunch. Because oh. the goal is to make a big block and shrink it down, but if you try shrinking it down, it'll undo the fuses. <sighs> ah. Yeah, grab something to drink at the canteen at the town. I need way more to compensate. If you are to accept your help when I can't repay you. Visit the town. Oh, wait, I'm a vo. I'm not allowed. <laughs> Little do they know. <laughs> and of course they kept the ice. There goes all my fruits. <laughs> the fruits of my labor are extinguished, literally. At least they kept my boat here. <laughs> How nice of them. <laughs> the last time I zone, I had to make that thing. Okay. Check out the secret stash. Sorry. Hold on. Although we do have enough to get one bow slot and one shield slot. Which will be done in a moment. Let's go to the secret stash. <laughs> that was a nice distraction. Ice. Now we're off. <laughs> I guess that's still rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need that Grudo shield. <laughs> Sliding. <laughs> no, please. The sand sleds are fun too, but 50 rupees is steep in this game. I can't always justify it. birds. I'm glad we got the compendium too mostly filled out. There's very small things left. There's the great cliffs. Not a lot. Normal wizard robe. The three high tier wizard robes are like one of the main things I'm still missing. Ah! Don't take me back. <laughs> Oh, that slot's already long gone. <laughs> Just like that. That's fast. Well, that fire rod would have been nice earlier. Wouldn't it have? Oh, it's an actual good one. That's... I'm just going to take that. <laughs> Never know when you need more ice things. Yeah. <laughs> the disappointment's immeasurable. Okay, let's see the ascent. What's different? Because it used to be the tower area. This is like the coolest path to get up. But there's a depth pit now. Oh, Rock Octo still here. Some placements stay the same. Oh yeah, also I like these now because it's totally different. If it's a rock, you can break it. <laughs> Why not? Slide down. <laughs> no more tower. Just the deep depths. Ow! No! <laughs> he died during that too. How was I supposed to know? 
It was too sudden. You have to ease into it. Oh my god, these enemy placements are literally the same from Breath of the Wild. But it's depths now. I love how the endless pits are. Well, depths. Oh, right, boulders. I think the unchanged area. Except there was a moblin here instead of a coblin. Hi, fruits. I didn't want to hit off the edge, so that's okay. I need more fruits back for all varieties. It's reflecting so much sunlight. <laughs> ah. There we go. No more shock shield. Oh, but he ignites his weapon. Smart. <laughs> Oh, that was a bomb. Whoa, that was a lot of damage too. Huh. You go back. Let that damage hit to you, not me. Thank you. Those are the really heavy bomb barrels. They all look the same, but some do drastically more or less damage. There's three different bomb barrels, at least in Breath of the Wild. Really weak ones, medium, and very strong ones. No, must be the very strong one. going from. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. Uh oh. Wow, well, watch this. Never mind. You're not throwing anything more, are you? Good. Ow! No! <laughs> that almost set me off. He knew exactly what he was doing. Moblins are calculated. I wanted that. I like my violets. 19 of them now. For whatever armor upgrades await. Go. Um, now we eat some food. I was saving that for that. A time like that, at least. Barrel. Oh, <laughs> Broke his weapon, then his whole fighting spirit. Yeah. Oh no! It didn't connect down! Damn it! The slam down didn't work. Um, were I reading stealth food? No. What's the weather like? Is it hot? Hardly. I hate when it just healed up perfectly. And you come to ruin that. <laughs> Okay, fine. No, I don't even need an attack buff. Sorry, I'm just... Okay, that's okay, I guess. Defense up, just because. It's not like our armor's that bad, is it? It's still 32 armor points we're walking. Not awful. I need all these little bows. I'm just like... Eh. Oh, that could have been bad, too. I'm gonna charge. Oh, I love this move. Okay. <laughs> well, despite many failures, we're, we're making a good comeback. And we're almost at the Gerudo secret stash. Might be harder to get this time because we don't have the tower to rebound off of. Usually you can fly there from the tower. But that's clearly not here anymore. <laughs> An odd sight to see. Oh no! Don't get in my shot like that! I just healed! Oh my god. What awful luck. 
the head keeps coming back. Don't get ahead of me like that. that was a quick one. <sighs> mm. Oh, we have wetness somehow. What made us wet? I have no idea sometimes. The shock? Is that something we ate? Watch Gerudo Shield and just makes my day. Ah, not quite. So. Some enemies. <laughs> Getting the high ground definitely. It's always helpful. in here. It's all nice. I don't mind. Okay, now we got the mechanisms of this. Last time I made some grand mistakes, I'm aware. I'm hoping to fix that. We switch this around so we... I know what we can do. Stick this on top of each other. Not just to get weight off, but also for extra height. Oh, never mind. It was, the height came naturally. Ow! That's fine. I would assume it would be one of those Koroks, you know, where you move them up. But this is probably like the most unchanged area from Breath of the Wild. Like, even the enemy places were the same, still like the same elevator thing to get up. It's very unchanged. Oops. Yep. Nice and simple. Oh, except this guy. Oh, shock dome. Oh, it didn't work in his favor, really. Do we have any good? Yeah, we do. Double damage. sort of weapon that was. We're still not getting the tails after all those. It's so rare. We need to for like armor upgrades and whatnot. I don't ask for much. Just some. It's okay. We'll get them all. And the Bacoblin's still here. Yep. Just with that. Oh, they put a camp there. Okay. For a slightly different thing. Oh, <laughs> going bye bye. You did well. This Baroche. Yeah, interesting. I have to put a nice camp here. Okay. I'm still attacking her my stealth. So thank you for missing. You know, two is fine. Gives us a good lead. Hello. Butterfly? No. No, 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 no! Who scared him off? The horn? Nope. Don't skate off like that. These, these Lionel bows we have plenty of. Hey. That's cheating! That's cheating! I know he's using cover, but... They're ignoring physics to ignore me. Uncalled for. You hit your friend. There you go. You get shocked. Then we go in. What? 
They actually kick you now. They were awful kickers in the past. They were stepping up their game. So I wonder where Ferocious is going. Not close enough to me. I don't mind using Lionel Bows for this. Like, yeah. They're everywhere. I like how there's tumbleweeds now. They're just makes the desert more deserty. <laughs> Sad I can't make Nisa slam though. That was so much fun. It just you can't weaponize it, which is understandable. Another radiant shield. Oh, I have too many now. But we know where another one is. I don't need to do every single one. <laughs> oh, it's just an arrow. I, I could care less. Okay. Now let's actually go to where we were planning to. Flint. No. I've only gotten flint from him. I barely broke him open, but it's usually just a flint. Something basic, so. Yeah, hope everyone's having fun though. Just kind of, I don't know. I didn't really have a plan today because we just did the dungeon last stream, the fourth one, which was the Zora one for us. We tried to blast doing. Also, the cave is still there. I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> that's where we're trying to go. But yeah, just getting to explore around with all of our new abilities and Sidon now. It's a great time. How many Koroks in this area though? Which is kind of. Interesting. At least nothing too obvious. What was that one thing? A little camp, okay. Or we could take out the lower stuff and then go higher. Really hoping I would have found a couple more Koroks during all this. So I pick the dumbest hiding locations. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Sometimes it's a good spot. Oh, easy ones. Nope, trying to get the weapons first. Bad plan. Oh, we still have that thing. Yeah. Book of Wax. <laughs> Too easy. Oh. I mean, sure, thank you, I guess. Bomb thing. <laughs> tumbleweed Club. I wonder what a Tumbleweed Club does. Anything very cool or it's clearly a very important weapon, so I, I'm, I'm taking it for that. And down there, it's got to be something cool too. Mm. <laughs> okay, I guess. Yep, all these I got. That was a very pathetic throw. Path. Yo, what is going on? <laughs> Slight wind interruption, maybe? <laughs> the reason why I have so many Talus weapons is when we are in uh, Lanero last stream, I just kept finding Luminous Talus after Luminous Talus. Like, there's not even, like, a whole lot. I just... The path I took took me through, like, four different ones at once, I think. Or some big number, I don't know. Too many. Nice. Bomb him. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> Gonna get something of his own. 
Rejected. Oh, hi. <laughs> Keep him in the air. Is this gonna fail? Probably. Yep. Oh, it's heavy. It's too heavy to work, isn't it? That could be it. Unless we're just failing that consistently for it. Yep. I'm just busting up my stuff because I can't attack. Ooh, quick pass. What the? I can't do anything. It was much easier to parry. Nice. Ah. Uh, <laughs> parries are okay right now. Throw it at him. <laughs> Not even close. I'm late on like almost every parry here. Oh, we got some. Hmm. Tulin, you want to finish it off? Oh, not like that. Just follows me. I know you like being here, but. Break these Lionel bows. Sometimes it's just okay to break up a bow because I'm constantly switching just because oh, I don't want to waste it on that. No, we're just getting a billion bows in this game and everything. Sometimes tactfully switch, but with bows, I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. I'm not seeing any Koroks. That was like a big thing. I guess you really only find Koroks when you're not looking. It's not like a horse. Oh, it's the Aracuda over there. Finish him off. Someone. It's fine too. What? No one's aiming to my. Com fine. Companions off. <laughs> Charge me. <sighs> now I have no excuse for that excuse. <laughs> Attack me. There we go. <laughs> Killed. A bad day means I only make half the parries. But everyone's still satisfying. I wish there was a certain, like, sword perk. Like, there's a good, like, flurry rush one, but makes you always want to do flurries. Uh, well, I don't know. There's a weapon that's just stronger, like, right after doing a parry. So it's like a fast, you know, like comeback sort of thing. Means for a couple seconds. I don't know. It's like obviously there can't be too many. It's just like promoting parries, just do more damage, just like bloodthirst. It's just rewarding. Parries are not as useful now because there's no, or not as many deflection type things. Like. It was big in Breath of the Wild because, like, Guardian Laser Beams, the Blights had those attacks, Calamity Ganon. And there's still some stuff you can deflect, but not as crucial, you know. There's more risk than reward. Well, things like Guardians, ow. A lot of risk and a lot of reward. So. And my health bar is not doing good today. <laughs> Which should be like that, you know. I'm 
Let's see, I'm checking if I looted that chest. I don't think I did. I usually forget to loot them because Breath of the Wall trained me that most of these chests are awful. So. And I guess the ladder's with them. <laughs> did I even try looting that? I don't even remember. I'm gonna be fully honest. I might have, and it's my slow mind because just like. Again, we're in a major surplus. Well, not anymore. Okay, now we can go back. To there? Yeah. All cleared out, not a single Korok. I'm gonna look at the object map later and there's like eight Koroks over here. I'm like, where? If I were to guess, it's probably like those balloons underneath like a platform or something. Because you like doing those. I know a few of the puzzles were removed from Breath of the Wild, but there's still way more variety because some of the old ones and a lot of new ones. Goodbye to the triple tree one where you have to line up the fruits in all three of them. Trees, cactuses, whatever. Those were fun, but uh, no longer in this game. And that's mainly because there's no more stasis too, so you can't do it as easily by stasising the good fruit. So ones that were more rune specific to get rid of. Same with like the rock circles in the water. Since there's no more cryonis or stasis launching, no point in having those. But yeah, the world should reflect the abilities that you have in this game. Which only makes sense. How many? Four? Even without attack up? Basically. And you're an axe man. Not anymore. You're getting axed. What weapons next? It's a wind. Wind's fun. Wind. <laughs> I'll say one thing, we're gonna have a lot of parts. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> A little too far. That's okay. We did clear a lot though. I just, yeah, a lot of enemies. A lot of the outskirts of the regions, you can't put too much anyways, because there might be more re like transitional to get between the elevations. Not everyone scours every inch of them, but it's cool that they put things. Also, that's a Talus camp and I need one of those for a picture actually. Not for my compendium, for a Kilton. <laughs> I like all the additions, at least. The Canyon Palace. Oop. <laughs> Which is red bacoplins. It's actually a much better picture, too. <laughs> that was a really good one. There we go. Battle Totos. <laughs> No, <laughs> these are not bombs. I hate when they have bombs on them. It's very brutal. All right. So we could desperate strength weapon, but in the meantime, this. The Ambers, get them! There's a ruby. Usually not a whole lot, but just a few little things. But if you want to fuse crap to it, you can. Personally, I'm not a, yeah. If it's just a basic thing, it's like, nah. What's over here? 
Good. Korok! One that we already did. Wait. No. We did one there, but not here. Interesting. Maybe that was lower, I didn't see. I've been so excited to do a core puzzle too. It's like, oh my god, you guys do exist. That feels right. Oh, I get it. Okay, fill in the box to that. So it has to be... Yeah, like that. Okay. I always work off one end. It's like, okay, there's two on the left side. So, whichever way, there's only two sticking out. Make that our root direction. I know, it's just kind of whatever works best in your head. It's awkward with, like, the side angles you can do. But, I try to make it work. Sometimes I still really get stripped up. Rotational stuff can be mind-boggling. Like, did we get it right? Beats me half the time. Okay, Gerudo secret stash at last. But wait, is there anything on the hill? <laughs> All the questions must be answered. There is! Who's our next member? Oh, it's a Yiga. Stylish person. Our meeting here must be fate. So much that I'm officially offering you a place in the fan club. You know who it's for? Got a smile like a sunbeam and the most charming pot belly. Master Koga. What a charmer. <laughs> Membership fee is reasonable. We can do that. Bye bye. Oh wow, this bullet doesn't one shot. I don't think I can parry that move. Cut. No. <laughs> okay. One combo, please. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm learning. Is this a stash? It is! Gotcha! Okay. So the cave is still here. What if it's an actual cave now or just still the same type of deal? It is. Oh my god, they kept it in! It is so much smaller, though. It's just a boat, but I guess the Radiant Shield. Okay, so we're respawning Radiant Shields here. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm happy for that. I can't be mad. But I guess that Gerudo Shield was not what I was looking at this whole time. Uh-oh, run, 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 run! <laughs> Big explosion. Okay, so where was that Gerudo shield then? Interesting that they still kept that cave, because so many caves like that from Breath of the Wild have been boarded up. But not here. That's a nice thing. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be the grand destination. that chest might have something? <gasps> Maybe these tracking arrows. But nah. We make the shots ourselves. There you are, chest. I'm still not seeing the thing for the Gerudo shield.
cool. It wasn't an enemy we killed, was it? <laughs> I hope not. No, it's probably in like a cave nearby. There we go. Okay, it wasn't. Uh, it's still here. So either it's loose or something. But there's obviously something I'm missing in this valley, given by this. I just don't know what. Here. Above. Huh? We're missing a very interesting detail in this area. Unless it's just a loose shield on a statue. Oh! Oh no, it's targeting. Why? It was that the entire time? <laughs> Can you give me your shield, please? There. A shield would be an awesome reward. <sighs> yep. Okay. So fast and it's awesome. Wait. Best level much to explore. Wish I had the map I can mark my destinations on. Recent events have changed the landscape. Yeah, Breath of the Wild map's not super accurate. <laughs> it keeps targeting Gerudos. Is there any loose Gerudo shields in this game? Obviously there are. But like where though? It's gotta be there, right? Thinking about this realistically now. No, I'm sure the canyon has something. The canyon's gotta have a Gerudo shield somewhere, you know? Like, something loose, fun, uh... Or, you know, we didn't fully check Gerudo Town. Is there actually one in Gerudo Town, but we just weren't directed to that one? That's very likely. You know, you're going to be pointing out the same islands that are very visible. Okay. Don't screw that. I need to see the smiley face in me. Apparently, if you look at Spectacle Rock from above, it makes a smiley face. Which I'm not quite seeing. I see goggles. It was part of a quest too. It was like, oh, smiley face, you know? Like, uh. No, it's set quest, not adventures. Mm. The thing sparked me fun on the map. Painting a spectacle rock when it appears to be smiling. This grin is best seen from above. Where's the smile, though? Do you take it from this island? Maybe. It's so peaceful. A lot of birds, too. I know, it's just very... <laughs> uh, picture moments. What do we delete? <laughs> Nothing. I like all my pictures. I'm just very attached. It's like, no, I just... It's been here forever, so we have to keep it. Okay, you know what? I'm so sorry. But it, it's come to that time now. Yeah. Sorry, Zelda. We, we held on to him for a while. Just 
Did anyone do that? Mm. No. <laughs> I'm not deleting all of them. I have to keep one. Otherwise it feels immoral. But okay, I didn't see the grin. I'm gonna take a second jump up because it's faster just for load the save. Okay. Delete the picture we wanted. Uh yeah, delete those two. There you go. I had like this really weird like thing. It's like if it, it looks weird now, because every time I open the album it had those first four. Like this is all unchanged. So I can't do that. It's like is that just a weird thing? It's like when you play with something for so long, it's like you try to delete it, but it just doesn't feel right. Okay. Um, how to get more memory? Is there a, I don't know, SD card you can buy in the game? Hopefully. I'm going to have a very hard time with this. <laughs> what the hell do we delete in this game? I think if a picture is so old, it just feels like a part of it. And deleting it feels like sacrilege like no you, you can't do that um like i had all those pictures for so long it's like it would feel odd deleting i like all these you know it's like set on healing this is what i guess is a compendium entry so it's like yeah I, mean, I don't really need that one no but that one's kind of funny no but that's also a compendium entry okay that's fine I hate deleting pictures, and I hate that the limit's only 48. Because I had to delete so many that I just felt comfortable with, you know? Okay, so you can see a grin from Spectacle Rock. And because we have to take a picture, obviously the requirement is that we're standing. Because you can't take a picture while falling. So he's standing on something. What do you mean you see a grin, though? <laughs> um. Let's see, let's see. Picture for the Grudo. That's not what I... Um, okay. Painting from Spock can be found on the map. Hanging a painting of Spectacle Rock when it appears to be smiling. When it appears to be smiling. It's a time of day thing. Ah, because it'll create a shadow, right? If the sun's there, it'll create a shadow that'll droop, right? I think that makes sense. If we go to nighttime. Wood. This only makes sense. Hmm. Because if it's smiling, it's like a... Whoop. There we go. The sun should be right behind there. That's too late, isn't it? Unless you gotta get at like 8 p.m. or something like really odd. I'm just gonna nice. I'm gonna switch time of day until we find a a shadow forming around it. Cause I believe the grin would be like, you know, because casting a shadow a bit. Noon. Okay. So, take a picture of Spectacle Rock when it appears to be smiling. The famous spot can be found on the map. 
The famed spots can be found on the map. What is a famed spot? So there's something there in the depths. Interesting. Um, oh, maybe just talking about Spectacle Rock itself. The reader who phoned over it says, Grin is best seen from above. That is such an interesting puzzle. Yeah, maybe it's like later in the day, so maybe like 6 p.m. In the meantime, we can kill this Gliok. I can't photograph what I'm moving down. It feels like, I mean, it's always sunny here, so it could have something to do with the shade, because there'll always be sun for the shade. <laughs> Terrorizing Gliok in there. It's kind of cool, though. Get a sneak strike on you. Just a basic flame one. But I'm ready. <laughs> there we go. One for each. Nice. <laughs> oh, right there. Uh, bit of an awkward starting location, but I can manage. hammer and a little bit of splashy big splashy actually <laughs> just does damage still um attack up screw it barbarian's fine spin maximize the at a very bad spot does he get off that rock he does, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I really hope you do. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, just a little fireball. Kind of cute. Just way to make a giant ice attack, I would. Here we go. Two and three. Damn it. There we go. Uh, we go splash fruit on me. Yep, it works. And then hit the head only. Uh, more attack armor. 50% damage. <laughs> Let's go. Get to the final phase, please. So close. We got that. Even if we need to, I don't know. Yeah. Whoa, we didn't need to. <laughs> awesome. But so long, Zora Hammer. Oh, that one drops Gliok Guts. Because remember, there's a quest nearby where you needed Gliok Guts, so... The only other time I got Gliok Guts was from the King. And that one specifically because it's here, I guess. Which is interesting, but I guess makes sense. But yeah, all the other Gliok's I've killed besides the Kings, I've never gotten the Guts. I don't believe. Because if we look, I should have two Gliok Guts because I killed two Kings and this one got Guts. But he used one of them for that quest. Um, Gliok, Gliok, Gliok guts. It's probably where all the other guts are, which is somewhere inconvenient. Yep. So this one drops Gliok guts specifically for that quest, because he kind of hit you up here first. Interesting. There's a co-op under here. There is not. It just feels Korok-y. I think there was a balloon Korok under here in Breath of the Wild. Maybe. Oh, if only I had that Korok mask. Maybe in a couple minutes, the shadow will appear over Spectacle Rock. 
Because the goal is that it'll cast like a parabola shaped shadow. Nothing. <laughs> this is where the tower was. Okay, there's a little platform formed. Interesting. This is now there's there's a clock here. Oh a talus. Yep. These are boss platforms, I see. Spectral rock uh this guy. Yeah, we can go horribly. Actually, no, that's why I have this thing. <laughs> Just use it. <laughs> Okay, you gotta go faster. No, why did it stop? Don't shake me off. Not yet. No! Toolin, get him. I'm Toolin now. Oh! There we go. <laughs> the rock to his head was just insult to injury. Painful. <gasps> Diamond, yes! <laughs> Such a rarity. Uh, well, that's good. Um, can make another temporary kind of hammer weapon. That's fun. That already has a rare thing on it. Screw it. Good temporary hammer weapon. I thought that would be, would be a cave. I also had one of these again. I saw two other ones, but I couldn't figure them out. And I still can't. What if it's just fire for fire fruit? But they're all in this area, so I would assume it's something Yiga related. No. What if it's a weapon offering thing? For Yiga weapon? Maybe the eight the other ones specifically. That I don't know. Yep, I have it marked with uh, these two as well. I just keep seeing them. I I don't know what they are. You should want to figure it out by now, but oh, maybe we have to do it as Iga. Oh wait, what if an offer a banana? That's not it. That just wouldn't make so much sense though, you know? Maybe offer a monster part? Myself? Not gonna lie, I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe just any monster part, I don't know. What? They create an impact? <laughs> I wouldn't have known that. Wait, can you actually like throw a wink far? Yeah. No, it's just other ones have instant elemental. <sighs> I saw a doorway. You know what? I saw a Yiga doorway somewhere over here. And I feel like that relates to something that do these offering things. Cause I'm only seeing these offering things in this canyon area. That might be a hint. I can't figure that out for the life of me. Okay, we're running on time. We need to get that spectacle rock picture. Well, everything today is just like, how do we do this? There is some sort of interesting order that I am not figuring out. Okay, I'm just a normal arrow first. You'll come close to it. Well, we got two. That's better than nothing. What? Oh wait, no, maybe this is fine. 
Okay. <laughs> we got one for two for one. Two of the tails, good. What's... There was a giant crate behind here. I remember when we were trying to get this tower because we had to work the elevator thing. I was trying to get a giant crate all the way from the bottom to the top. I didn't realize that there was one behind there though. <laughs> Whoops. We spent like at least five, ten minutes on that. Not so regretfully because it was fun, but still. But okay. Should be a smiling, grinning face. Spectacle Rock. It seems like if War Shadow Base Zone happened pretty soon at least. So I have no idea. We're gonna check here first because I'm... Okay, a lot of birds. Birds, Rito. Good. Bad. Um... Yeah, we're directly above it, so I feel like it's not that. You know? I feel like... <sighs> How could Spectacle Rock be grinning? I don't have the slightest idea. Maybe it's the other way around? It could be. Either way, it's so awkward, I don't know. Is it the other way around? Getting stumped by one thing after the next here. It's grinning. <laughs> I didn't really check from the desert side, so I feel like I have to see it to understand it. Otherwise, I'm not going to get anywhere. Maybe the painting. No, he'll just lead me to the flower thing above. Same thing. A small island. <laughs> Wish he helped you with these picture quests. Okay. Yeah. Not helpful. I'm flying from above, you can see it, but we were not seeing any sort of frown. I'm gonna see it from like the desert. We're definitely not above, but. Riddle again. Uh, Riddle flown over it says the grin is best seen from above. But it's making it seem like when it when it appears to be smiling. The sun sets in the west at nighttime. So maybe I'm just too late. It's It's got to be a, a time of day thing. Or else I just want to see what it looks like from here. Probably nothing too special. No, it looks like nothing. Okay. Maybe it even means above the island. Like, does the other island add to the smile? It's possible. Nope. That would not do anything. <laughs> it had it. You gotta stop. Yeah. What? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Just a bunch of eyeballs. They're so common. Okay, so we're gonna go to noon again. This time only wait a couple minutes. We'll we'll find something to do to kill hmm. that much time, I guess. 
Do enough time to auto. Not yet. Let's try going. I'm gonna check out the Yiga door that's nearby. We saw it a bit ago. And if that doesn't do anything, regardless of what it does, it'll kill like two minutes. Then we can warp back to the tower, go to the island, build like a flying bike to get more perspectives. And as long as we're not actively flying it, like we can always just snap a picture really quick. Because I'm running out of ideas. But I just need answers. There's that picture right now. And then secondly, there is, uh, well, these like Korok puzzle offering thingies. First of which was in here. So there's a door that only accept Yigas. Is that the end here or was... Okay, maybe it was like here. I think I forgot to mark it, but... I did. It was under the waterfall cave. There we go. Get a little shade. <laughs> there we go. Yep. The Yiga thing. Go on. This dude always just trots there. What if you have like tips? Do you have advice? Oh. Savak. No, he just studies the language. <laughs> Schools of fish. Big Ron Islands that look like me. Plants and animals we never seen before. <laughs> Need to build more rocket ship. It's like ten rockets to compensate for his rock like weight. But okay. Mm. Alright. This has got to be something important. Yiga Blade Master Station. Oh. Surprised we found this. Can we become a Blade Master? This is where the Yiga Blade Masters are made and unmade. Huh. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> never thought about that. I thought that just the bigger ones were Blade Masters. Brave the elements take this first step. That speaks well of your passion to become a blade master. Mm -hmm. Oh, we saw this first. And I'm like, it was a blade. That was the first time I actually saw like a blade master because it said like you get blade master through the door when he's like, you can't come in. Uh, and then later we got the Yiga armor. A few streams later. Oh. Gerudo Canyon. There are. <gasps> oh. There are five frog statues with that identifying marks of the ego. That's what that is. Oh, thank you, I, I guess. We already have <laughs> most of them. I did that to every single one. <laughs> Damn it. This harsh land will lash you mercilessly with cold and heat. Travels may prove your end, but if you succeed, I will name you a blade master. I'll personally give you these mighty bananas. Thank you. Mm. Huh. If you need more, a true blade master is expected to find their own. <laughs> okay, so it was for something else. Interesting. Okay, well, you can make an offering to the first one. <laughs> Anti lake sign. It's all very good to know. Sorry, that's cool. I wonder what making a Blade Master will mean. We already have the Earthquake move. Which is basically what that is. <laughs> oh, we waited so long to do this. I should have done it sooner. I see the first one. And there's like... Oh, that's under that cave that we want to do. Okay. Well, when we come back... They marked them all. It should have been like, at least find three of them, then we'll mark the last two. Right. We need to do it as Yiga, don't we? Which only makes sense. Unless I counted. It counted, okay. Thank you for that. 
But okay, um... Now let's do the Spectacle Rock thing. We're balancing two puzzles at once. So do the rest of these. Then we have to take a picture of Spectacle Rock as it's smiling. So it's getting that time. Um, it's 2.15 in the game. Uh, I have to do it before like 6. So it's probably 4 or 5 is probably when the Shadow's going to cast. Um, do I need the tower for that? I don't think so. I might just... Okay. Save right there. This is going to be hard. I don't care about extreme heat. Oh, I knew that. Please, something really quick. Um. <laughs> oh, great. There it goes. There was one mine that was just really good. Yeah, that one. It was all like abandoned stuff. Okay, get a few more Zonites. Uh, this should just take a minute. I can use you know what to roll a bunch. Um, so we do that to get a good view. The sun should be gradually coming down, creating a smiley face. I guess from a somewhat high angle. Because if it's too low, then the shadow will be too messed up. What the? <laughs> get me out. Okay, this way. But there's a specific spot where I gotta take the picture. I know there is. Get to the mine. What sort of weapon are you? Take or not take? Thank you. This rock. This weapon's not too good because it's too heavy. And the boomerangs never work. Okay, very weak deposits. It's got a bit of glow, which is fancy. Why is it only two a pop? Does it get more elaborate in other areas? That's like an active theory I have. Like, I think the drops are better, like, in higher level areas. I know things have their own drop tables, but still, I feel like it's altered to some degree. Like, here I always get less. In Death Mountain, on the surface, I get more, like, good ores, you know? So, it's gotta be. Yeah. Okay. Um, I might have to go back to noon. Because we're definitely too late now. So much yeah. fun. Noon. Okay. We'll just kind of stay in the air with our bike. Watch the sun as it goes. Uh, we can get those Ziga puzzles as we go. I have no idea what happened to all the loot. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. That's three more bikes we can make, which is good for starts. <laughs> yeah, just whatever. Rock weapons. Funny. I don't know. It seems like those big deposits you can only break once. They don't respawn. Same with like other rocks in the game. Ores always respawn, but like the rocks don't. And yeah, as soon as you mine them the first time, they're just gone. Okay, so let's uh. My pin there. Nothing I need really. Yeah, I'm gonna try flying around, <laughs> directing their pins. Cause it's it's gotta be. Mm. Yeah, I guess if the sun's directly above, then it moves a little bit. Yeah. So maybe even earlier, maybe like two. In that case, we don't have much time. He's barely got to cast a shadow. Okay. 
Why a dragon? Is that part of the smiley face? I have no idea. Already flew past. You know, we could use a scale for sure. It's okay. What's more important, dragons, always. Don't shoot it off. There we go. I needed that, so thank you. For those good armor upgrades. And then, yeah, take that. So we have thunderstorm. Ah. Uh oh. You too. You too. I don't want to drop anything, for that matter. Good. Let's go. <laughs> I had like the least amount of parts from him, so. Let's get a couple more. Probably need some for some later armor, I assume. But generally, they can make uh, elemental hammers. So many neighbor. But yeah. So the reason why I assume the shadow for this is because. It's like the only region that's just always sunny, no sun showers, which makes it perfect for casting shadows. Do I see what it's talking about? Not even in the slightest still. Make an offering and figure it out. I don't mind slowly dying, just <laughs> figuring it out. I didn't expect this puzzle to be a hard one. But it is, and we're living with that. There we go. Carrying the banana <laughs> across the pond. No need for that. Yeah, we definitely miss this one. It's, if I were to assume, literally start at noon and keep just flying above it. So yes, I will do these other side puzzles in the meantime. We will figure this out. Okay. Two one gives you insane speed as long as you keep that momentum from that first one. First glide over. Alright. And it's in a cave. <laughs> Just like the other one. Is it an easy cave entrance? Probably not at all. But we just need to look for a bloopy. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm sick of getting. Why do you do all three at once? Oh wait, I have stealth armor on. I can just do that. <laughs> the perks of the Yigasat. Hmm. Okay. Let's reenact our plan here. What's up? Well, I guess if it allows us to. Let's go here. Build a flying ship to just scour the area. <laughs> Goodbye, lizard. But that still stays on fire. Cool. So what we're gonna do is just... Auto build that as is. We'll still have one more after this. You see what's... <laughs> Why is there a quark right there? I see it. We all see it. I would have missed it too. <laughs> Good one. 
They're so easy to miss. That's why I like it. When you take a wrong turn, there's... Well, it's always a right turn. For that reason. Hmm. Wrong resistance. Oh, we have them all, but... Yeah, it's not heat resistance. Uh, well, Divine Helms and all at level 3, too. That's cool. Because we are using the gems to upgrade them. Beach attire. Well, <laughs> so, like the semi stiff way leg controls this, like. Here, a little dragon running back. So if we see this from above, I just hope that it works well. And yeah, that swamp's like drained. It used to be like really nice. There was like some fairies there and everything too. Oh, it got unnicified. Okay, look at Spectacle Rock from above. And it should look like it's grinning. Which still makes no sense, but... Again, I have to assume it's a shadow, and if it's not, then I don't know. Just to pull up our adventure log. Um, it's not a side adventure, it is a side quest, and it deals with a picture. This one? Okay. It should look like Spectacle Rock is smiling. It's always meant to be two eyes, like goggles. But if you see it from above, it's smiling. Um, this, those rocks are supposed to resemble different features of a face. That's kind of like a pupil and an eye. Either way, it's still goggles, so. Okay, so where is the mouth? I can't smile without a mouth. What the hell? <laughs> I was not paying attention. We have better things to do. Please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's look at herself. Is the sun gonna move? I. This is always bleeds some direction. Yep, it looks like the sun's behind enough to create a smiley face. I assume what, that's what the flowing rock is for. It's falling down so we can snap a picture. I'm not seeing the angle of which it can be smiling now. But I'm going to keep that floating rock in mind because... Okay, yeah, this is all covered in shade now. If you fly above it, if you fly above it, you should be able to see it. I'm not seeing it. That's fine. I'm going to that rock, though. We'll figure this out. If a rock fell here, it could be for a reason. The only, only other thing I can think of is what if it is just exactly at noon because of the way that the sun is. Sometimes it's just at a predictable time of day. That's that's like my only other option. Um, let's warp here. We're flying above, and Rito said they could see it. So Ritos don't really go to the Sky Islands. So I feel like that would be too high. But also I shouldn't 
do too much wordplay around that. I really don't know. No, 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 no. Okay. Damn it. <gasps> You're kidding. Ritos are never up here. <laughs> That's not where my thought was, because there's not a single canonical Rito in this game that goes up to the Sky Islands. So why would why would I think to go here? And that's where the picture would... I didn't see it on the map either. I, I guess he can, though. There's nothing stopping them. They just choose not to stay, but... <laughs> yeah, there really is nothing stopping them. Just bird's eye view. And it just made it sound like... Yep. When it appears. Yeah, I guess when could refer to a time or a place. Because it only refer happens in that place. I just assume shadow because the sun would set in the west. And Let's get, let's get a nice picture. Man, that was so... <laughs> I saw that and I was like... Let's see which one's better. None of them really. One of them's too blue. Okay. Well, I guess we take that to the stable. Um. <laughs> oh man. Wow. It's a really. It's it threw me off. Okay. So... Because there is a lot of odd-shaped islands, but I was like, hmm, I guess seeing it from the angle could be helpful. I was like looking at the rocks, but I don't know. Because like stuff like that, there is so many just odd like little, you know, traces of islands. I mean, maybe not there, but like, I guess maybe not to that size. That makes more sense. But it's like sometimes on islands themselves to be like things like that. But that, that was a pretty elaborate one, so... That was a good puzzle. Yeah, instantly, I, I without even going there first, I just saw the, <laughs> those two islands. I'm like, wait a second. That's like a smiley face and a nose. Hmm. It's a lot more clear. I'm dropping off that picture. You know, I still haven't found, though, a Gerudo shield this entire time. <laughs> Literally, I, I don't even know at this point. I don't think they exist. Hi. Uh, ah. Let's frame a picture. Uh, the Happy Rock. Ah. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I smile, too. <laughs> Having this here makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. I don't like that with the thing on the bottom. Uh, I'm sw I'm swapping it out. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. Because <laughs> I don't like how it is the thing on the bottom. I didn't notice. That's going to bug me. Uh, hmm, uh, uh, hmm, oh. Ah! 
It's okay. <laughs> Do you want it? Let's swap the picture. That's fine. <laughs> it's very blue, but it's a nice sunny day. It will cheer him up more. <laughs> yeah, why not? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Such a funny looking one. Okay. That is acceptable. Okay. Nothing's cut off. No split ends. Okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> don't need to keep talking to you. Cooking pot, though. These are nice. I like cooking. I kind of need to as well. So let's go. I don't know. Heat resistance. There we go. So we have it. Um, just some truffle foods for some nice full restores. Keeping the big ones, because I don't know. And then... You know, these are technically better. Find some Sky Islands. The rest I kind of keep. Because it's like... <laughs> cool. Well, we got that. Now let's do those Yiga things. There is... Apparently one right over here. It's a side adventure too. Giga Clan exam. Maybe in the meantime we'll find a Gerudo shield. Cause as soon as we find that we can do uh well the quest with uh getting the Gru Simtar of the Seven, Daybreaker. I would love that so. So yeah, see it's a little hot. So. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> okay, more of that. That's fine. At least the radiant that's still busted. Or <laughs> doesn't have a buff. I assume we should see a bloopy on this side. He saw me. <laughs> that wasn't gonna work. Uh, whip sword. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> that will, though. Love this whip sword. What? No, no flurry. Watermelons. No, that time was undeserving. And that's much better. And all this kills too. <laughs> Bounce him back a little. Nope. It works well. Bye bye. <laughs> that reach is awesome. No. <laughs> a good reach. Uh, slashing to hit multiple at once. Some neat little weapon. And the shock emitter too. Any shield for that? Not really. Because he can't make a new shock. Oh, it's a beam emitter. I don't I really don't want that. Only good in giant clumps. They're like ten beams at once frying at someone. Okay, I just need to find the entrance to that cave. It could be on the side with the, uh, you know, all those construction things. Ooh, you know what I could also do? Well, I guess looking for the bubble frogs away. Or a bloopy. Hmm. If you don't find it by going over this, I'll search for bubble frogs. That was my last one, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Good. Hmm. Oh, come on. Were this shock ones? No, those are the ones that just don't actually exist. 
What? Are you joking? I just got my temporary hearts and ate twice. So I can find those electric bugs. I think I have to get them in rainstorms. Caves. So it could be a cave. A spectacle rock cave, maybe. It's just under there. Okay, I would think it's like here. So obviously, you don't get elevation with that coordinate. Nope, we went to the other side, not there. Um, oh, yep. <laughs> of course, right there. Well hidden. Uh, can't believe I didn't see that. It was just Grudo Canyon Mine. Does it just lead to that? <gasps> oh, it's the whole excavation. <laughs> oh, this is a cool area. This is really cool. Screw, I'm going fierce, Daddy. Feeling fierce. Hmm. How fast can we turn a boss battle battle into a normal battle? One, two, and three. That, that's how fast. <laughs> Me pulling my barbarian stuff or fierce, Daddy stuff. Like, wow, that was a. That was a hard battle. I was like preparing for hell. When <laughs> I was the hell. Just to use up this bow. <laughs> Literally. Diamond! Oh my. Okay. I mean, it was rare, so. Rare drops indeed. Gerudo shield, watch us. They're so good, but I, this is the one time I want the Gerudo ones. <laughs> I think they all scaled up, yep. didn't they? Yeah. Okay, we know where respawning Radiant Shield is now in the Secret Stash. Which, I don't remember what was in the normal Secret Stash. I know an Edge Duality and, was it normal Gerudo shield or Radiance? That beats me. Okay. That could be dangerous, you know. You take that. And go! No! <laughs> Close. Ow! <gasps> what are we even getting into now? Oh, that's good. I oh, ate two more. That's good. Just last one more hit. Final hit for the bow. <laughs> Make it count. <laughs> Clutch! <laughs> we needed this very bad. Um, what a dumb shield. <laughs> okay, we finally have a Gerudo shield. Well, you bet I'm getting that. Ow. Sorry, Amber. It doesn't seem like we need to be wearing the armor to do this. We were wearing like half armor last time at least, and it worked. Yeah, <laughs> long range. Cool. Ooh. Pretty decent flip. Ow! <laughs> when you struggle to fight keys, you know something's up. Me just using whatever. Interesting. Yeah, I like how it's a whole, you know, like the canyon esque caves. <laughs> Never expected these to go backwards like that, but I really dig that. Oh, wait. Aha! 
Oh, I really, really dig this. Okay, no bow. Please tell me you can spawn. Probably not. Maybe? I think he spawned in the wall or something. There we go. I'm bringing you back. <laughs> I'm gonna use those rock things. I see it's a whole just normal cave system. I wonder if this was an entrance. It wasn't. Wait, did we miss it? What? <gasps> How close were we here? <laughs> Through the fire. It was an easy one to miss, but. How close did we get? Oh, we backed out right before it, didn't we? Dead. No half measures. Yeah, me using my best weapons to break ores. At least I throw straight for a little bit. Maybe slightly better than non long throw. But really slight. Yeah, that's an easy to miss one for sure. <gasps> Up there, this is so cool. So many layers to this. I like this cave a lot. Ow. <laughs> Didn't like that. Yeah, some of these nice truffles in here. This nice little everything. <laughs> Everything like this we dug. This is so much fun. I don't know. You're just getting choked up for a while. It's like, it's rewarding in the process. Sometimes you find a cave very organically or sometimes you have a loose idea where it is, like this one. It expands to something much more and it's like, That was the entrance we took. So two rather hidden entrances, but at least there's two of them. And I guess because of this quest, could be pointed. But even then, it was kind of easy to miss. Like, it was on one of the paths, but there's just so many paths around the mountain. I thought it was going to be something small, like a little like reward or something. Um, but this seems to be a nice quest line. <laughs> uh, I've always loved this, you know, rocky, you know, legged off wall area. There's a whole excavation grounds for, uh, it was mainly said to be for, like, the divine beasts. Like, because digging out Nabors just took them a while, so. That's why a lot of them exist. What the? Nice. What the? That, that's fine, you just keep getting them. I don't know what to tell you at this point. Oh yeah, this view. That's nice. Watch, we're gonna get another Grudo shield. Just cause that's the, that's the flow of this. So after we get the second Grudo shield and can't pick it up, we're gonna go straight to Grudo. No, kind of mind. <laughs> it was a decent chance. Yeah, so I guess with any like the base tier stuff, uh, like likes are good for replenishing that themed regional loot too. So I value that. 212, nice. Okay. Grudo Town to get our stuff. And then. I didn't see that one, which I guess is another cave. Maybe. That's in a cave though. We did that one. But Grudo Town first for the Simtar of the Seven and the Daybreaker, which is two things we don't even have pictures of. So. Hey, I'm cool with that. Light scale trident and great eagle bow can wait. I don't, I don't mind, so. <sighs> There's still like some skeletons in there and the desert that I haven't checked out. <laughs> There's so much. 
The adventure is the best. Okay, watch. There's a brutal shield here or something. Okay, there wasn't. Because there was like pre invasion. Melva salute. I wonder if you'll give me different coordinates. For one, the. Uh, uh, it's like one of the heroine quests to get one of those like uh, like special orbs for it. You had to give Patricia a splash fruit and they gave you coordinates to where one of them were. Because it was really hidden. It was like on the walls of Gerudo Town. You had to like dig a bunch of sand to find it. Because they had to find all special orbs for the heroine stuff. Uh, I wonder if feeding Patricia again, now if the quest is over, we'll do something special. Eat it. Tasty. Yummy. Ooh. Ah. Secret numbers. A thousand thirty-five. So negative a thousand. Negative thirty-five. Um. How do you know something that far away? Negative a thousand? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> They're literally coordinates for treasure. I guess you can get a lot of things. And then what? What was? What was the Z? Uh. Two nineteen. Desert's like extremely low, so that doesn't mean much. It's probably like. I can't estimate. <laughs> I don't think it's all the way in Farron, but that's something too. Is that? Is that treasure the old document? Oh yeah. Um, it was the Divine Beast Helm. She gave us a quest to find it. Take it with you and make good use of it. Okay. I like how they comment on things post quest. Even if the quest is mostly finished by you getting the item. So you don't have to go back to finish it. Most of the time. I don't want to spend 50 rupees just for that. I came. <laughs> Sorry, uh... People may have forever lost knowledge how to make the arms of the seven, Daybreaker, and the Centaur. Okay, um... I don't want to lo I don't want them to use that shield. So we're gonna temporarily drop it. So you use the ones that I have in my inventory. Four diamonds, ten flint. Yeah. Okay. It's nice about that as you just are swapping the slots. Ah. Yeah. True symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. Simtar the Seven. 28 damage. A famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. It is said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. <laughs> Dave, yep, that's what I wanted. Shield was cherished by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. I love Urbosa. Uh, and now Riju too. Like, wow, Riju is really stepping up this game. Like, Gerudo is so awesome. Uh, yeah, the goal to make it was handpicked to ensure a design that is both lightweight and durable. Ah. Oh, I made it for Riju. Except two of the swords. Ancestor even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. Yeah. How amazing they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like how the knowledge of the sacred weapons always gets passed on through, like, the cultures. Come see me <laughs> whenever you like, even if you don't need anything. Oh. Everyone likes Link. There you go, Daybreaker. And Simtar the Seven. I love these weapons, but you... I don't like fusing them and stuff, because it's like... They look cool on, them on themselves. But it does have the strong fusion perk of, like, the Gerudo. But it's like... You know, then you're just ruining the look of the sword. It's different with the Boulder Breaker, because it's like... Big hammer, then Talus Heart, like, okay, I'll take that. Like, that's cool. But, yeah. I don't know if I want to fuse something. I guess things that have, like, a tip. So if you make, like, a shock sword, that could be cool. That's so awesome. Yeah, and it's not going to last super long. But, yeah, if you make a shock, it has to be something that's... I don't know. Doesn't undo the justice. Possibly elemental. But obviously high damage, otherwise it won't take 
good effect of the double damage thing. I think that'll just cover up the weapon if we do one of those, but Gleok stuff is more. Yeah. <laughs> but still very cool. Let's let's get these pictures taken. That's two more compendium slots. We still have a lot to go with weapons, because they're just weapons. <laughs> we match. I love how she comments on stuff. <laughs> it's never in the full dialogue, it's just like that. <laughs> okay, I was uh, I was watching my girlfriend play like a few days ago, and she puts one of the uh, sand seal plushies on a shield, because she has her plushie shield, and it's amazing. Um, like the red one. Yep, there we go. And. Oh, she'll comment on that first. Okay. But if you just have one. It is a great. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Crap, I need to make another plushie shield then. It can't be that one. Um. Blue. I like the blue one. Hmm. Which one matches better? I don't know. Is it about the matching or is it about... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> I love that. Just plushy shield. I'm pretty sure it makes things bouncy too. That's like its main perk. Soldier's broadsword. Yeah, I I'm gonna like that one. Uh, <laughs> tumbleweed. Like a little bouncy club, maybe. But I just like a lot of the stuff. So it's like, what do we drop? Who knows? That's it. We're going full plushy on this. Green one. Yeah, taking all the plushies. Bouncy broad, <laughs> bouncy broadsword. Yeah, the plushy aesthetic. Only well, can wear a hat one too. <laughs> plushy warrior. Wait. <laughs> nice. Well, uh. Oh, yeah, the companion pictures. I was going to warp till day to get a nice picture. Because I'm very picky about my pictures. Well, most of them now, but it's like... Now I am, because we're running on the last ones. Wait, sorry. It's hard, because right before sunset will be perfect. Like, 7 p.m.? Because then the sun is, like, behind the throne. But you can't really warp till 7. Warping till night's nine, so. That's okay. Plushy Daybreaker. <laughs> there we go. It's a nice desert sun in there. <laughs> when did I become such a photographer? <laughs> Sorry, Plushy, but we'll get a new one in a moment soon. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Escape. Yeah, the only time it's bright is like before night. It's a great shield. You know, fine. Final hair, I'm gonna split. Okay. There should still be a little light at night. Yep. I have about 30 seconds left. There we go. I like the glow more in here. It's 
like how the shield like falls off your back or not. Again, a bit overkill, but. That's fine. Okay. It wasn't the way it won. I wanted it to turn out, but. Centaur. Oh. Yeah. I don't know, it just gets like a nice. Yeah. So it's like a very slight pattern of the picture. I don't know. I respect the champion weapons a lot, so. Good twinkle on that. There we go. That's that's a good picture. Sorry, I take pride in like the really nice champion weapons. Or compendium. Perfect. So Grudo Shield, Radiant, Daybreaker. And then one more new one. Sorry, that was a bit hair splitty, but there we go. It looks great. The Unruin Grudo Simtar. Uh, we'll have to find all these in the depths below here, I believe. So, we will. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Someday. What was that thing that we were doing? We were doing the Yiga stuff, weren't we? We had the pictures of this. We have awesome shield now. Um, should we replushy the shield? Yes. Okay, I gotta see the Yiga thing though. In the meantime, I'm gonna use the restroom though, so I'll be right back. Um, then yeah, we'll get the last two Yiga things and see what that it means to become a Blade Master, because that's kind of what the objective is. Um, I'll be right back. Second, we will have uh, Oink watch the stream. We're in the plushy room, so Oink will do a good job. Give me like a couple minutes, please. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> you got stuff.
Hello. Thank you, Oink. I'm back. <laughs> Hello, though. The weirdly uh, fastened pillow. Hi. Yeah. Um. <sighs> feels nice to stand up after a little bit too. So, but this chair is well, this new one. It's kind of comfy. I just want to get a new pillow for it. I don't know how because it doesn't wrap around the part it's supposed to. Because it just didn't come with a strap like that. So. But yeah. So it's easy to just drone and play Zelda. But that is a win. So. As long as I have the hardware to play the thing that I want for as long as I want, then we're golden. Because the last chair was not doing good. Um, it was leather, the seat was hurting my tailbone, and uh, yeah, it kept making creaking noises. That wasn't fun. But okay. <laughs> Let us go here. Have our plushy weapons. Um, so this one was in a cave. I believe they're, they were all in a cave but those two. Because I have, have a theory that the last one's also in a cave. I just happened to see that. I'm like, that's odd, because they don't really put Koroks in caves. Besides, like, one, I think. There was, like, one odd exception. Um, So I saw that. I'm like, feels like there's something more to this. Because I saw that when I first entered the region. Like, way before I even saw the Iga door or anything. But I had an odd feeling that they would connect. Hmm. <laughs> I have a daybreaker now. It's so fancy. Our splash fruits. We're supposed to take like a, a raft in, but I'm not about that life. <laughs> okay. I switch from one divine hall to another. Swim speed. Helps a tad. It was at the end, huh? I hardly even remember. All right, there's a bubble frog in there. I think. Nice. Hmm. Oh, strong fusion stuff. Yeah, I I have a feeling that the champion weapon repair cost is the same as uh, how much we spent. So it'll be four diamonds to get the shield and sword. Which is only worth it, I guess, if they're really high durability. But I don't know if they are. Oh, wow. <laughs> good, good snipe. That was a little unfortunate. It's not fast enough. All the nice Gerudo shields, Radiance, Ring Garland Gerudo, and Daybreaker. And yeah, that's... I don't want to mess stuff like that up. There we go. This is where the problem lies. Hmm. Where are bananas? They're just <laughs> in the area we mess. Okay. Put a toast in the flame before anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to see what we get from this. I wasn't expecting much. I just, I don't know. It's something. There's one there. Which is likely also a cave that we miss because. Seems easy to miss caves here. Like, very easy. Hmm. Yeah. Also, it's funny that we literally got here initially because we're just transporting a ring garland all the way across the map to Gerudo, and so we just kind of stuck in Gerudo for a while. I can never predict what's going to happen. I just... I just do. But it's always a fun time. Screw it. Like a warm up. <laughs> I have faith in them. Yep. 
Yeah. Possibility still it could be in the open. I just didn't check. Wait, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Definitely in a cave. Oh, wait. Hi, I didn't see that one. Okay. It's kind of awkwardly to the side. Wait, the fact that we saw three of them. It was just the one in the, like, the excavation. Like, the chunky excavation grounds we didn't see. And then, uh, this one. It's cool that we found, like, more than half organically. There we go. Did we pass our exam? I would hope so. Boulder, no. What are you? Yeah. I saw it when we were transforming the ring garland. I'm like, uh, it's probably a cave or something. Nah. Just something basic. Door armor. Just temporarily. Love this. Yeah, that was not going to be a fun climb otherwise. Just look how fluid that is. You can just hop in waterfalls midway, hop out of them. All right, we're going to go with the Urbosa weapon and see what they think. Probably nothing crazy, but. <laughs> Come in. The test is passed. <laughs> I'm gonna confuse the hell out of him. I wonder if we wear the thunder helm. Will that also count? Because it works in the hideout. It does. That's cool. Because it's now a relic of the Yiga. <laughs> so yeah, it's really a Gerudo Yiga aesthetic. It's the most Gerudo a Yiga aesthetic can be. Only returned after making necessary offerings. Ooh. Pass the Blade Master exam. Permitted to step in the inner sanctum. Reward is valuable and only found in the depths. A, a wing cleaver? Is it actually a proper wing cleaver? Play no heed to the strange glowing ruins you may find inside. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be another ability or. I really don't know what this war can be because we already have the ability for the earthquake, which is what. Blade Masters he is. He earned the helm? <laughs> I love when he comment on stuff too. Sorry, that's too great. Oh, it's a shrine. Yep. Two pieces. A special sword and shield? A bow maybe? I don't think it could be armor. I have no idea what this could be. Okay. Well, obviously it's gonna be something better than that. Oh, okay. It's a pristine, eightful long blade. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You get a nice one. Uh, <laughs> maybe I assumed it was gonna be a new ability or something, but for how hidden that was, it makes sense. I don't know if I need a long throw one though. You know what, we're gonna do the shrine and come back out. Because it will reset the the modifier. Because I don't think long throw on one of those is very good, is it? Nah. Let me think on that. <laughs> Here. Either we're using this one up. No! Get him! Oh, sorry. Oh, not sorry. That was good. Got the ore deposit and not the bottom. Convenience. You know, honestly, that's fine. I'm just gonna get the long throw. Okay. Because like attack up at most. I mean, could add ten. But the beam damage is unaffected, I believe. Sora Walk Shrine. Well, it's still cool though. 
So I guess we do, we get a free one. Yeah, <laughs> Blade Master test. And at least an exclusive reward like a shrine. That makes it worth it to me. I'm gonna hang it to, to a better backdrop though. Make my nice last ones look nice. Like that. There we go. Cause like when I get it, I'm probably gonna be in the depth, so I don't you know. Don't have many opportunities to get a nice Yiga backdrop. There we go. That is fancy looking. We got an angle so we can get more of it in the picture. Sleek. Go. Yeah, like that. I wonder what that. It's probably another exclusive sword of some sort. I just don't know what exclusive sword. Damage one, pristine. Yeah. Very interesting. Look at a shrine. Doesn't make sense. Blade Master test. I was like, is it actually gonna be a wing cleaver? No. But I guess from here you have easy access to get to whatever's above. What's oh, a blessing? Diamond. Fair. Ah. Those I believe are exclusive. I don't know if they are renewable. Cause I only find them in chests and like important places, like blessings or uh, like. The mazes. I think some of the dungeon segments, I don't remember. I generally don't. But still, that's cool. There's a whole little quest line. Easy to miss, too. I was wondering what those offerings would be. Just little flourishes around the world. Okay. One second. I do that if I miss a tooltip I want to read later. I didn't want to read that one. I I just thought it was a new one, but it wasn't. It was just about the energy consumption. Oops. Okay, now we leave. Blade Master is up oh, right there. Why not go visit the hideout? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we had the title of Blade Master. The Lightning Helm. <laughs> yeah, let's actually. Huh. Let's go back there, but let's do it by actually traveling. Uh, <laughs> you thought it was a Blade Master, huh? But it's me. <laughs> Your best nightmare. Ooh. I feel like I know you from somewhere, but drawing a blank. Who you are is not important. <laughs> Members of the Yiga clan should be taking care to keep themselves presentable. What? Mm. As a blade master, you're allowed to... <laughs> he doesn't know. This one actually doesn't know. That's so funny. Okay, I would have slaughtered him if he did, so, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> we'll give him that bit of peace. Peace of mind, peace of conflict. Well, nice. <laughs> Maybe that does something in the hideout itself. I don't know. But anyways, I've been curious to check this out for a long time. Probably at least like two weeks now. Nice. And I don't know if we have the zone to do it, but really I just need a sled. Sled. Mm. Yeah, we'll make we'll make a little device. What a car would be better? I have no idea. It might just be heavy in general. Let's grow. I don't see any wood here. I always saw this. I always pass it because I'm like, 
There's just a million different ways to go in the canyon. One of the most easiest to get to lost in areas. But if I knew about the shoreline there. Oh, it's just for a talus. I see. Is that seriously it? I hit that one up a lot in my mind. Oh, there might be actually a way forward. We get some elevation too if you want it. This is my Talish Crusher. I thought I would kill more Hinoxes today, but no. Tell us it is. <laughs> you jump right at that point, you don't get flung off. Cool. Uh oh. Tulin. Ah! Damn it! It's all my health! Tulin, you're useless sometimes. <laughs> Fly around. I, I expect too much. <laughs> we literally have to waste the food because of you. And yes, I'm blaming all, all of it on you. It makes me feel better. Blame others to make yourself feel better. It's okay if you don't have real feelings because they're a video game character. Um, yeah. Totally okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm using now. Master Sword. And some of these tier 4 upgrades are going to be expensive, so. Oh, so the cave was literally just that. I thought it would take us like all the way in the highlands and we can ascend. That's what I was holding off because like, I don't want to get derailed to there. Seems like that would just be a figment of my imagination. Yeah, no derailing, indeed. I guess you can still get elevation here. Yeah. So we don't freeze with this freshly acquired health. That's good, or snow. Oh yeah, that's the archaic where I was like, what is that? It just looks like the snow boots. Because compared to that, yeah. Rocket in the snow. What the? I mean, I guess that's another way up, which I put in it like a uh... oh, yeah, hover stones are cool. I guess that's a slower mover, but keep slow momentum up. Yeah, very slow. I wanted that. I know some upgrade needs that. I just don't remember the one. So it's an offering thing. You have to build them a house, don't you? Oh my god, wait a second! Ow! <laughs> you know, amazing the radius is now. Okay. I'm not having you. Oh, I guess I am. Wait, I think, yeah, you have to build them a house, isn't that it? <laughs> it's cold. And it's a clock puzzle. I love the unique ones like this. Here's hoping I'm right. Huh? 
No? There's something to this. It's not fully... Maybe a log in there, you know, will do the trick. It's pretty long, so... I would assume maybe why not. Yeah! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, hi, Clark. <laughs> Okay, he's so close up. That is awesome. Yeah. There's one where I had to fix like a shingle too. Uh, it wasn't like a house thing, but it was just like that was like fully removed and there was a shingle missing. So kind of made me think of that very lightly. Oh. Spikes and whatnot. I might need one of those flamethrower shields. Yeah, that's what these are good for. If we're in a cold area, we always need one of these. We do have the ruby rod too, so that's kind of good. Hmm. Nope, it was nothing. <laughs> I like that. There was the Riju thing from there. I went inside that cave, but I couldn't do it because I didn't have Riju's ability. It wasn't like that shock thing. Where you shoot the shock arrow at it in Breath of the Wild and it reveals a shrine. There's a little cave there now. Which is kind of cool. Bye -bye. Oh, it almost hit him too. So close to being so good. my parts. Yep. Tails are so good for upgrading armors. Which is basically what I'm saving them for. Oh man, I love the Highlands. They did so much with it too. Just right there, I guess? Huh. Yeah, just right there. We're at the highlands of the highlands right now. The highest part. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's pretty underrated in Breath of the Wild. Just, it's like a fun loop to keep going around, killing a bunch of high-level enemies. No, assuming it's ex expanded upon, that's gonna be even better. Oh, the leads to the Yiga base. Which is actually where I'm trying to go, so. Ow. Snowboarding! <laughs> Look, this is all for the Korok here. Very fixed priorities. that we're finally here a bit. There's, there's a monst monster camp skulls here. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, still a good way to get that. Oh, wait. Oh, that's where that one Lizalfo's camp was. Breath of the Wild. But now it's gone. Is it just Choo Choo Camp? Yeah, it was a, one of the hardest camps in the game. It was just all the Zolfos, but they were very scaled. But yeah, the wood stash is still here. Huh. <laughs> yeah, but they kept the monster flags, but... Thank you, Tillin. You're redeemed. What if it's like nighttime only or something? It could be a nighttime only camp because sometimes they'll purposely put like a campfire or something by like a night. Well, by a camp. 
So it might be blinked or one part of the day. But if we go at nighttime, that's got to be a reason for it. It's too elusive otherwise. Yeah? No. Oh. Hmm. I mean, there's a skeleton button. Just the one I see. Interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what that's. Beats me. This stuff. No, it just kind of field in, and there was a shrine right here. But yeah, I guess I'll just puzzle because there was uh, still like the enemy camp torches, you know. <laughs> that leads down, doesn't it? <gasps> We're going sledding though. We are. <laughs> That's an exit out of here. Yeah. Well, if you insist, Korok. Ooh. Let's go sledding. Okay. Down we go! Woohoo! Dashing through the hills. Can still aim my guy. Oh, that's a. Ah! <laughs> We're still on. It's going good. In the rain. There we go. Keep it sleek. You know, the sled does that already. Woo! Stay on. Oh, we're about to hit a rock. Ah! Yeah, see it? Those are the fun enders. It's okay. Let's restore some fun. Oh, no, no. That's not fun. I can promise you that. You just need to go in the right direction. Oh, that one rock cut off all momentum. I wasn't about to build a car. Like, this is a sledding hill. You sled down it. If you can. Oh. Yeah, tumbleweed pet. What? I, I see that. <laughs> Never set all the speed. I was trying to fire, uh, Minobo. Yeah. Enough Quark seats for slots again. So much in this game. Did I? I didn't see the lake yet, did I? Or Satori Mountain. I didn't see Satori Mountain. I wonder what's changed over there. Yeah, again, I'm, on the checklist, still going back to Yeager Clan to see if anything's changed. There's a lot of good looting spots, which could be good if we're just upgrading armors and need materials. Okay, first, check the Korok, because there's definitely a Korok in here. They made this area to put a Korok, so they're definitely putting another one here for this game. <gasps> oh! Even better! They put a cave down here? Oh my god. I love seeing caves when I like, did not expect it at all. Okay. <laughs> Monkey screeching. No, get him in the head! Get him in the head! Stop! <laughs> one of these. We'll get him. There we go. Nice. Oh, I was not expecting this. That area was literally just for a Quark seed in Breath of the Wild. I remember that. Yep. Kids that make good memories. Uh, no thank you. I, I guess. We could make this into a good... Weapon, you know. It's good quick charge properties. It'll last a bit. Mm. And this boomerang's got to be for, for something. It's like, 
We've had it for a while. Can't have fire, really. Um, shock on a wood boomerang. <laughs> No, that's good to get to counter. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what you're supposed to put on a boomerang. Besides the emitters, you know? <laughs> put a cannon on just hope for the best. But obviously it won't be very good, so. Beam boomerang? Yeah, I, d I didn't really think of that. Be a little silly, you know? <laughs> for when we want to do that. that but I don't, I don't mind let's keep using master's or breaker what wow he's snappy today extra good thing he has like zero health he's just cave to ascend back in too we're just forgetting out you're on much higher ground I love the options. There's like more there. Is there horrible in parts we didn't loot? I think so. What is from that one? Okay, still good. I love horribleins. They're just funny monkey enemies. I'm trying to do big sweeping attacks against the earth, throw rocks. And then they get all upset and throw a fit when you hit them. <laughs> nice. Opening the one trick master sword. Oh, lizards! Yay! I didn't even see you. <gasps> Whoa! This was all for the. We found a jackpot! Ooh! <gasps> oh, yeah, we did. Okay. I can finally try out my Star Fragment staff. This has got to do some damage to him. Go! What do you mean? Nothing! <laughs> That's not fair! I thought that was going to be something! What is the point of the Star Fragment Rod that we found? <laughs> ah! Get out! <gasps> okay, run. It is raining now in this cave. Was it always raining? I don't know. Just get out! Yeah. Stupid gloom hands. No! Keep hitting him back. Yep. Gerudo weapons be like that. Okay. Come on. Flurry one of them. There we go. Flurry. <laughs> Trying to get better at that. Yep. Hit him back. Yes. Keep going. He's going to take some hearts. That's fine. That's running low. Sprung another. Woo. I don't care if we don't get the flurry. Just... Get hits, no! I'd like me guys hit him out, but I know it's hard. Okay, somehow we have water. Okay. That was good. Um, I will fuse something to that really quick. What exactly? I have no idea. Uh Ice? The no, no, uh Sorry, just thinking for the next phase really quick. Maybe not a Gliok. Nothing expensive. Just... I have no idea. Just that. It's like a pinecone water sword. Pinecone. Sorry, guys. This is a me and him sort of battle. First, we got to make sure. Does the Star Rod do anything to him? It does not do crap. Okay. I think we can throw it away then. No. Okay. Good. Get the flurries. We gotta practice on them. All for whatever Ganon's gonna be later. There we go. I think that's the point of these battles. That one I have not been able to get. There's more of a delay than these two. One, back up. 
Yep. Too early all the time. Got parries. We got it! Yes, finally! Such a final one to end him on. Good. I don't need the gloom sword. With the bow, definitely. There we go. I have to restore that gloom though to make sure we get the health out of it. This is awesome. Floating rock. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's a little horrible in cave. Okay. Such a big thing down here. Wow. I'm sure like an NPC tells you about it too, but I like the ones better that you find organically. Like this. Nice organic find. Uh, maybe it's the last piece of the climbing armor. Because I don't know, just like like a lot of climbing stuff, you know? Uh, there was like a nice elaborate Zora cave where we found the first piece. Or the second piece. First piece was really close to uh, just Central Hyrule. It was like the first mystical trip that we got. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely a lot of options on what it could be. Damage one handed sword. <laughs> Zora stuff is too good. There you go, The one I really don't pull out ever is uh, Riju. Because, like, I don't know, I don't really need lightning and stuff like that. It's nice and fun. It's like a Bolsa's Fury, it's just pure damage, and if you don't want it, you turn it off. Yeah, Sidon's water is good for the Zora weapons, and there's good utility for the other ones. Climbing. Phantom! Oh, okay. I love this set. I mean, we have so many good alternatives for attack now, but I just always got to rip the Phantom set. I think we have everything but the uh, the top part now. A okay, base Breath of Old Armors. I can't find them. I don't remember where we got the other piece. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. Okay, we're getting the DLC Breath of the Wild stuff back. Because the way it seems to be sorting is... Base game Breath of the Wild... Well... This set. And then base game Breath of the Wild armors. And then it starts getting to the new stuff. And then mixes in the Divine Helms with the new stuff. Then, like, accessories. Okay, so... Yeah, at least the general rules, all your base game Breath of the Wild armors are after this set. So it's easy to kind of sort. Accessory things are kind of later and one-off things. Uh, and then DLC stuff. DLC and Amiibo. Like, at least by Breath of the Wild standards. Because the majority of the armor is still from Breath of the Wild and its DLC. Yeah, I wonder if there's a new set that we just haven't seen. I'm sure there's at least one or two. But like, just haven't gotten any parts to. Maybe in the jungle region there's like a thunder damage attack. Just like how there's a ice one in fire. That would make sense, so... Yeah, I don't doubt that. Oh, we should have gone up from there, shouldn't we have? Yeah. Oh wait, we can just warp around. I think it all just loops to each other. It does. One interlocking cave system. The caves like this are perfect for the water damage, so... You can get right back up where you were, too. Perfect way to climb the highlands. Get two and I'll get you back, too. We literally can. Huh. I talked about Satori Mountain, but I also talked about Yiga. Just one little uh, side adventure turned into a redirection of the main adventure. Sometimes that just happens organically like that. That's so cool. Just in and out, in and out. Oh, it's another house! So, are you a... Oh my god, it's a level 2! It's a level 2! It's a... Red alert. Oh my god, a blizzard robe. That's my first level 2. Where were you guys this entire game? 
Okay, he's doing a JoJo pose in the air. Um. <laughs> My <laughs> Blizzard rods are very good. Um, maybe skip it on those now. Oh, one of each. And the one handed are the best. Which, luckily, the wizard ropes always just have those. So. Good for me, good for us. Okay, I guess we'll check that out first. <gasps> Light Dragon! Oh my god, we keep seeing all the awesome stuff. Okay, Light Dragon's important. Uh, he got his importance. Uh, everything's important. Too much important stuff, it's crazy. Just such an exciting area. <laughs> Why is it always no bits of zone? <laughs> I saw another like this by that Tabatha stable, and it was like one zone or something in the chest. It's like, thanks. <laughs> Do we have this bear? Yeah, we do. We need that normal bear, not the grizzly. You have a million health, unless I hit you in the head. Headshots insta-kill animals. The bear has like a billion health. Can we get you? Jeez. No. What? Come on. Ah. Uh, you dropped so much meat! That's unfair. Ockrock over here adding insult to injury. Oh my god, there you are. If you despawn, I'm gonna be so mad. His head is perfectly away every single time. No. Get him. Stand up, yep. Yep, right there. No, the head! What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, we're not missing the headshot. He just knows exactly what angle to be at. There we go. Zone Ipo! <laughs> Please, let me have this one. Oh my, no. Oh, I think the... Yes. <laughs> headshot, stern, and kills. We got the salmon, okay. That is my second piece of salmon I've ever gotten in this game. So yes, very worth it. 50 failures in a win means a win. Wow, I... I'm being juked by these animals today. I, I know it's my fault, but it's all my fault. I lost all game. I'm literally winning only because I have the capital to keep pursuing them. <laughs> that was frustrating. Self-frustration. Watch, I'm not, I'm not... I hit him, okay. <gasps> Big chicken. Yay. Okay, um. Yeah, let's shingle it up. Let's do it the long way. Then I want to get Light Dragon for more parts for upgrading our champion tunic. Does that count? Not at all. Oh wait, I, just, I guess we just gotta cover the one. Oh, we're covering the statues, not just filling in the roof. Okay. Why? <laughs> Again, it's it's all my bad, but. <laughs> oh, the comedic timing of everything's great, though. Can't argue with that. Okay, let's just do it like that. Yeah. There we go. Just the roof over one head. Oh, <laughs> and that works. Nice. Okay. So light dragon up there. 
Let me look for what part I need. Um, so we got the two scales for the first upgrade. It's for the champion tunic upgrades. Um, I think it's claws next, which in that case we may have won. But I'm not 100%. Oh, right, by type. I forgot there's so many sword options. Um, which is fine. It's just I have to pay attention to where I am in that. It is Light Dragon Talon. Okay. And that's for the second upgrade. There. So I guess, yeah, no shame in traveling here. Biking to the Talon, getting that, and then diving into Ego. And then that fish will be fried. So, And then I guess soon, uh, probably somewhere in the depths to get some more Zonites. Uh, which there's a spot in the Kala we didn't fully check out yet. So maybe I should do that. It's like the little spiral area. Or oh, low gravity. Oh, uh, didn't mean that, but woohoo, we're out. Wait, low gravity's really low. Ah, no, how are we still alive? Thank you, thank you. It somehow didn't break, so like, don't tell me that's a Korok. Maybe not the best launching point for this. There we go. Would have been an easy catch up to get to him. There you are. I vaguely heard somewhere that if you get somewhere in the main story, Light Dragon starts flying lower, so he's easier to get. Which is meant to encourage getting the Master Sword, because maybe hard to get otherwise. Okay, I'm gonna quickly pick up a Talon, then get the things on his back. I still have to figure out the whole weapon healing thing, because that's like the main property of these. It promotes healing for weapons. Maybe when you attack with it, it gradually heals you. Maybe the durability? I have no idea. I feel like I'll really like it though when I do figure it out. Up like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! What? What? Huh? Huh? Well, it has to go somewhere. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Goes in the eagle hole, I swear. I guess I'm not getting the spikes on this pack. <laughs> That's fine. This is like the hardest one to do. Oh. oh my god. Okay, well, we're going to the eagle thing. for the construct base because it's staring at me. <laughs> oh, how do you hear me? You have a wheel shield? <laughs> what does a wheel shield do? Nothing. And a shock sword. Yeah. Didn't figure that one out, did ya? You just kind of went with the combo without any further questioning. Took us out of. It's a wheel problem, I see. Thank you. Just kind of clobber him. Oh my gosh, Captain Contra 3. Yeah, I didn't start seeing those until last stream. It's really funny, but 
a weird troop. The first one was in the Zora area. I was like, nice. <laughs> Well, it's gonna end soon. But nice. <laughs> I guess a shock. I don't know. Something random and junky. This could be kind of funny. I'd rather have the funny. good. Now they added a lot of these highlands. I'll have to go back there at some point. Take the back door in? Sure. So I wonder if any Koroks are hiding in these little those things. I feel like they snuck one of those here somewhere. Midair fall. It doesn't look like it. Still gonna check on top of there though. It feels perhaps plausible. But yeah, we're going back to the Yiga base because uh I don't know, I'm apparently now a blade master, because I have uh Eight foot long blade that's restored, and I passed their test. So this should treat me different or something. Not 100% sure, but. I still gotta see it through. But they did suggest to come here. It's not on my own fruition. Alright. Eight foot long blade, wind razor. Go back and forth between the depths and the surface. Who's Link? Uh? Me. <laughs> I'm always getting I'm being a pain. <laughs> the sky disguising ourselves as trees. Yep. There's a banana in the road. You pick up the banana, and the trees come to life. That's them. So yeah, they're not the ever means. When I first heard them talking about uh, them being trees, I'm like, wait, are they the ever means? No, they're just in the trees, waiting to pop at Link. Yeah, the new Blade Master everyone's talking about makes his appearance. Yeah, mastered the earthquake technique. The more you use that power, the greater Master Koga's infamy grows. I don't know, maybe it's for something. We finally have this one. If we, if we talk, or if we get our... That's fine. What the... Right. Can't swap bows and then... Was there anything in here? I think there was, but I couldn't pick it up. So what was it? Feels like a Gerudo shield I'm gonna be. Oh, just another one of those. It's like I'm not just gonna toss it. There was one seeker in here I couldn't figure out, and I do kind of want to. Not this. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you can buy the vehicle. The Tasteless Gloom Dragger and the Hover Doom Mark III. I have to save these. Goodbye. I picked the wrong person to ask. It doesn't seem like anything changed. Uh, they're just obsessing over their cars. This is something I'm trying to figure out. There's a way to get in here that I can't figure out. 
I try descending, I feel like it's from the outside. Because if I want to... Uh, hmm. There's no bubble frog. And if it was a cave nearby, we would have a bubble frog. That's like one thing I can't figure out. And I was like, we'll come back and figure it out. We never did. It seems something... Wait a second. No. Will I ever? I, I hope one day I can. Oops. Don't touch it. Made into parts. <laughs> They're so callous. If I look at my options, nope. None of that would make sense, really. Can you recall into it? That's the thing. It's like... I don't think you could. <laughs> you really don't know. I just want to get inside there. There's a chest in there and a banana. You get there by breaking some rocks. So that's definitely the last point in here. Unless you can enter through here. I still can't quite figure that one out. My only lead. It seems like. I don't understand why this is cumbersome to think about. I. I can't quite figure this one out still. I feel like there's another entrance somewhere. But as I keep going around. What? Ah! I didn't see that! I guess when I was here, I didn't keep going. Did I not? I could have sworn I did not see that. That's fine. That's fine. It's just, it's just part of it. Uh, well, I always wanted to come back for that. And I guess here we are. Use up all my bombs to do it. Well, we're finally at least doing it. Can't have Yonobo. It's like a town. Gotcha. Oh my god, actually, the prison route. Ow. Okay, we'll heal up somewhere after this. I really did that to myself. We're actually in the prison cell. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my god, we figured it out at last. It's 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 a stealth potion. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is there anything above? There might be. <laughs> that was not worth it. I had a feeling it was going to be something really stupid. Just knowing the ego base. Or at least we figured it out. The wind. You know what? I'm taking my anger on these bats. Go for it. <laughs> Earthquake technique. <laughs> what could be good right now? Um, those coordinates. We got those coordinates earlier. That Patrice was yeah, negative a thousand thirty-five. Negative a thousand, negative thirty-five. Um. I just want to see what direction it would be in. So let's go moving cardinals right now. So it'd be a lot that way. So not wait. <laughs> okay, what's my X Y Z? So going straight north is this, and it's increasing. Oh, so it'd be very south. It would be very south. Oh, maybe it's like buried treasure, you know? So it's somewhere probably over here, which is not an area we have a lot for. Okay, so I'm going to do plan... Whatever the plan... Actual other plan was. Here. Yeah. I don't know what that could be. I'm 
I'm interested, and I do need more Zonite, so it's clearing those two bases. And we'll probably get another item. Probably more of the, uh, the green tunics, because those are cool, and... Yeah, I want to get them all. Meantime, though, we'll eat our final. Yeah. Might just go with the tanky aesthetic, because we need it at this point. Yeah, warrior. <laughs> Bit of stealth, why not? I assume the third piece is in the, the jungle, maybe. Because there's that whole archipelago in the jungle with the lightning. It seems like this armor is only on the important islands. One was in, like, the lighthouse one. The other was in... Zonai Weapon Forge, and I don't know, it seems like the other one's important too. So possibly. Ow. There goes a bit of my temporaries, okay. okay keep making our way this way. We'll find Zonai to make a ship. You get back in the hundreds. I was very carefree with this before, because I like building sillies, so it's never a bad thing. That's a pretty good weapon. Not really. But it's a weapon, so we'll use it for ore breaking. As long as you don't have a ship, it's more excuses to just at least pick up this stuff. Because then I'll be flying over most of it. And the trees. This is the muddle bud tree. It's either muddle bud, puff shroom, or bomb shroom tree. Yep. There's always at least like three. Okay, so. It's the whole underside of the swirl. Seems like there's probably a light road at the end then. It just covers that area. So it's going to be dark doing it regardless. Because... I don't know. I like those linear segments in here. Because it's all cut up by the ocean. So that could be fun too. Close. Let's go Not a single zone I deposit. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. <laughs> Take him if I, you know, I don't need him so he can reset. Throwing spear. They're just free things. Uh, yeah. Make my own. Got the point across. I still see what long throw throwing spear is like in this game. It probably still is the best long throw, I would assume. It doesn't seem like it's... Yeah, it definitely has that long throw compared to, like... <laughs> the other spears we can test it against, aka none. Uh, yeah, it has to be longer. I can kind of feel that. So it should still stack with the new long throw. Because long throw throwing spear was very far in Breath of the Wild, but... Uh, that's basically what long throw is in this game. Like, natively. <gasps> Hinox! <laughs> Hungry Hinox. Wait, he's like right under the one that's here too. That's interesting. I know it kind of like mirrors the map, but... And the tree... The trees also line up. Not everywhere. <gasps> everywhere! What? The trees line up too? Wait a second. I was noticing some things lining up, like, okay, it, you know, underneath the Colosseum, there's a different Colosseum, there's some similar things. I think I noticed some vegetation before, but it's not, it still isn't everything. I can say it, sometimes it is cut off, but sometimes it's like, yeah, and like, there'll be mines underneath mountains, or sometimes like the water areas, like that, or two lakes there where the tops were, but yeah, like, I'm even noticing more and more as I go, like, 
there was a black Hinox on the surface along with these exact trees in this order. So it has something to do with just like the underside of Hyrule, like just, you know, a split sort of, uh, I don't know, area of it. What does that mean? But like with all the soldiers down here, they give the weapons, so it connects one life to another sort of thing. I assume something could tie in with the Blood Moon as well, like monsters can respawn. This is like, you know, the ground configuration for all monsters. As much as there's a dark, there's also a light. It's like how the, the great skeletons line up too. There's the skeletons up on the surface, and underneath there's a dark version of that down here. Sorry, I just find that super interesting. But I didn't really notice it to this extent. I wasn't just casually slaughtering this dude. Sorry. I will keep geeking over that. Uh, you know, combat's figured out. I don't really need royal weapons. I guess we are getting low. <laughs> Sorry, that's so cool. I just like how it lines up, and that is something, too. Let me, like, fully compose my thoughts. Maybe more memories will clear it up, too, but I feel like it's more like Zelda's, like, subtle storytelling sort of thing, you know? That's nice in the depths. I don't know if it's the weapon I want to use all the time, but it is nice. Oh, yep. Long throw spear. Or two handed, yes. Because we do we have good just damaging swords, we do. Okay. Yeah, I love this duality between, you know, Hyrule and the depths below it. It's just, I don't know, it's really interesting. Yeah, it's also like an afterlife with the pose that will not, you know, who cannot be returned to the afterlife, they're kind of wandering spirits. No idea, but it's so cool. And whatever this is, I was really missing out before. <gasps> okay. Sorry, this, I think I just said an awesome area. Um, this is exciting. Full worker camp. Hit him away. Nope. <laughs> Can't have that. I know this is a little durability, but we're going with it anyways. We do the good damage. Nope. Bad away the shield. Big damage. Yeah, it's just really bad durability. The Gerudo stuff is not too hot. But it's good damage in the moment. The double damage applies to everything. Assuming it's fused. Whoa, this is cool. <gasps> I'm not sure what I'm getting into, but I'm very excited. because it's a fresh weapon. How many arrows are we at? Yeah, we're, we've been using a lot lately. Just because I know if we don't, we'll, then we'll keep filling up. So I don't mind using them on whatever. But okay. Wrist mine. Because it's called Wrist Peninsula. So there's a whole mine thing. Me can't shoot anymore. I just have to be a bit slower with my game. Okay, there is a, a minecart thing that ends. Hmm. I'm like black and white right now, and then a little bit of color. Yeah, it's nice brightness temporarily, but bright bloom seeds are a bit better. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it just attacked and broke it immediately. Yeah. 
distract him with that. He's going to want to eat it. Thank you. No, all zonite is good. I'm low. Oh. That's interesting. All my knowing the size of this uh, swirly peninsula. Get them all. Look unarmed. some random weapons the wind cleaver we have to keep bare because uh you know then it, the wind won't work shucks. pops and shucks huh it's so interesting it's like the mines well the carts are broken a lot of these guys who overran it so it might be a frox at the end seems to be a lot of foxes Go. Thank you. You guys don't stand a chance. So I like when you hit them all the way, just like, they kind of thud. You can just make the controller like rumble a lot. Very interesting. What was that? I'll take it all because I'm... Low. Oh, this is how we replenish. Interesting. It's like when you build a strip mine in Minecraft. It just, yep. You have little fortifications on the side. Except you don't need those in that game. But, I don't know. Just one long stretch, just however way you feel. But in this case, it's just where the depths were. Because the depths is like a mirror of Hyrule. The dark version. Yeah, so I should think of more interesting locations and how they translate. Uh, another one was uh, the the three springs, like Power Wisdom and Courage Springs. That's where the well springs are, where there's the uh, like the offering people where you can offer pose for rewards. So yeah, they have a light purpose and a dark purpose. Returning wandering beings to the afterlife. Guys do good. Giant seed. Wait, there's definitely a, a frox up here. I'm picking candy from a tree. Oh, they keep dropping the giant ones now. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? We're like never getting that before. Now we just keep getting the giants from them. Feels like it just gets better over time, but I don't think that's the case. Can't confirm. Ooh. Just mining away. Machine. <laughs> going all the different silly directions. No! <laughs> the backpack stuff interrupts it. That's okay. You guys will do good. And for that matter, let's have Redraw out too. We're going full champions. You all do good. <laughs> Had to avoid the second guy. There we go. Um, What's a good one? Master Sword? Master Sword's always good. <laughs> Down here, especially. Ow! My temporary. There we go. Okay. Massive cutter combo. I like when it breaks right on that. Okay, what's next? Because we have a lot of dumb weapons. We're gonna use this one up, because. We had it for a bit. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yep, knew that was running its course. Yeah, have to keep track of that internally. 
What is a cool combo? Oh, 24. That'll be a good... I might make that another Horblin hammer one. Um, I kill him mildly fast, so... And then what else? We, we need spears. We're all rocking tons of one-handeds I haven't been using. We're just going to use stuff up, not pick up drunk. And then see what we're doing on slots. Thank you for not hitting me. Go tornado! What? <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> That's okay. That was a little silly. <laughs> Burn three of them? Cool. There we go. Flip them over. I think they're weaker than when you do that. That's cool you can, regardless. Get him, Rachel. <laughs> they're really trying. The Sidon's got that reach. Yeah. I like how they all represent different types, too. You got bow, sword, hammer, or two-handed, and spear. So hammer counts. Yeah. All different types of combat that Link can do, represented in the sages. Yeah. Trying to eat my seeds. Oh. <laughs> He's eating his, the decayed seeds. Also, see so yeah, how with the frocks, when you flip them over, you can deal more damage to them. I am noticing that, which is cool. Or you can just headshot him and destroy him with almost anything. We're gonna go with a little narrow depth soon to get some of those cool Zor weapons. That'll be handy. There we go. Was there, there was a pole in there. <laughs> I'm like checking every single one for loot and I was like, nope, nope. Of course, there's a little about that one. So when I already got a hundred since I've been down here. A lot more vehicle potential. Yeah, it's, it's currency meant to be used up. Well, like any currency, but it was just you. Okay. The fox is no. Do not eat my seeds. There we go. They will run straight for him and make the whole area dark. I like color of the darkness monsters. Okay, this is all leading to something. A lot of good mines and mining stuff. There we go. And one shot. Which we wouldn't be able to do if we just hit him directly. So that's cool. I don't know. Like, the parry can weaken something. Although it is a weak creature to begin with. Like, there's not a lot of things in the game where you can parry first, so they're actually more susceptible to attacks. Oh, wait, what? No, but I I hit one earlier and it didn't. Okay, so scratch that. I think some just... Maybe the way you hit it? Okay, that time I couldn't tell. But I definitely... I've been able to one shot it sometimes, not the others. <laughs> Testing all my theories, and it's like, uh, sometimes you check out. Sometimes I just get overexcited. It's like, okay, maybe so. Maybe not. <laughs> but it's all part of that process. Yay, science. <laughs> that was all for one. There we go. That time was a one shot again. Sometimes it's not. What the? Oh my. It pushed a bright loop scene at the wall and lit it up. 
That's actually kind of great. Okay, Froxy. Yeah, actually, thank you. I'm just gonna go rock mining. Can I actually break that with throwing a rock at it? I feel like I can. Not that I ever tried. No, not that one. Uh, four. Five. Doesn't do it for ten, then. Whatever. Six. Seven. Eight. It might. Nine. Ten! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, it's so cool. Yes, I am saving that. So, if Ortopos is at 40 health, then that must mean that a rock throwing out an ore does 4 damage. Possibly. Unless there's variation with the speed of the throw or something. Which I'm not too sure on. Also, I still gotta test this move too, because I think the damage increases with how long you have it out. But again, I'm not too sure. Uh, still so much to learn about this game. So many new systems and... It's hypothesis after hypothesis until I finally get something working. Let's be very consistent and all that. Okay, we're finally getting to the end here. Let it go to the max. What the? Okay, that time was not a lot. I don't know. I've definitely got inconsistent bellies before, though. So now we figure out how to replicate that and go from there. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Trying to get the floor in one of them. There we go. We can get them both. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and all of them are down to their depths. Yeah, arms. No. There we go. My weapon. Almost broke the thing with it. Cool. That might lead somewhere. A very linear path. Nothing too extravagant. Like some chests around here. Occasional large pose. Wait, we're almost there. Okay. They don't like hiding a lot of secrets in these because it's like, it's meant for broad exploration, so even something like this, you might just fly through or drive through. I kind of like on foot travel right now. What are you? Just more? So many of you guys. Don't eat my thingies. Oh, pff, high jump. Yeah, very high. So many giant seeds now. Getting enough to replenish and more. There's going to be a frox at the end. There has to be. There we go. No. That seems to be doing the same damage. I could have just had a different weapon out. I didn't realize. But it'd be cool if there's an enemy you can parry and it deals more damage when they're like weakened after the parry. Okay. There's just too many of you guys, I'm sorry. Get some occasional zonite though, and the giant seeds, so. I'm not mad. Because the point was to get zonite, and we're getting a lot this way. We were at like zero before this, so. Plenty of creations await. Oh. I don't mind. Pluck them all away. Okay. Mm -hmm. You guys can handle this. My Druid's roll does all that too. Or just as efficient. Not sometimes better. Uh, eat 
the mushroom, eat the mushroom. Thank you, Sky Shrooms. <laughs> it's the biggest benefit. Is that a frog's up ahead? I think it is. It just feels like one. I don't think it'll be mine. I think it is a frog's. Oh. Is it a frog's in a mine? I don't know. There's a lot of frogs. And that led to this. For some reason. No, you guys take care of that. Right. More important, you know, both. He's still alive. Giant seeds galore. More than we used here. Oh. <laughs> Try me. Like what? Yeah. What we're gonna do too? Throwing! Yeah! <laughs> Double rock kill. Oh, we actually got the arc right. That doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> we have so many dumb weapons. Maybe certain t weapon types kill them faster, too. Didn't really think about it. Okay, too many froxes. <laughs> Bushy. So many of you guys. <laughs> Just lining up to die, though. It's like a catacomb mine of froxes. <laughs> they don't give up. Probably when I busted up stuff. Not a huge clue. But that was interesting. This, Lanero mines for Zoro weapons after this will be good, but first I want to see what's really up with this. There may not be a Grand Frox fight like I thought there was. <laughs> They're patrolling though. Look at these dudes. <laughs> bye bye. I'm just gonna drop that so I don't have to <laughs> mess with it no longer. Oh, that's the only 36 damage. Cool. <laughs> so many. Okay, what sort of armor are we getting now? Alright. Uh, it's a cap of some sort. Tunic! Tunic of Twilight! Legend has it this armor was worn by a hero who battled monsters of Twilight. There still seems to be some hair cling to it. Looks like it may be from a wolf. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Wonder what that's about. Uh, Link was a furry, that's why. Okay. Um, Tunic of Twilight, okay. So yeah, we have a lot of sorted ones, but nothing too cohesive. The wild set is, uh... This one's found exclusively at the skeletons, like the dark ones. So, we did the Hebra and Gerudo one, but the Elden one has the pants, likely. So, that loot is like has like a pattern to it. Which I like finding, or figuring out like when there's like patterns to like the rewards. Cause, uh, yeah, it's cool. So, three skeletons is where you find uh, the Breath of the Wild green Link tunic. Can make light roots here. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty deafened facility. Oh. Oh, my tumbleweed cl club broke. That's what that was. Keep going. Get more. <laughs> Tons more. Just use up the crap weapons. We'll find more of the repaired stuff in the depths. Oh my god. Pressing all buttons unmanageable. Break rocks. They give like no yield. 
Get back. Okay, I'm sure some pose and stuff are still around. Um, we'll also search for chests, which there probably is none. But I have to make sure. No, it's usually just very fixed to like these special locations. There's never just like random chests in the depths. It's all purposeful, which is fine because, you know, if you're focusing very broad exploration, you can't have too many micro objectives that aren't like optional in terms of grand completionist stuff, which is why they don't put quarks in the depths. Like, I guess lore wise, like why would quarks be down here? But gameplay wise, it would be stupid if there's just so much space to check, you know? And if quarks have like a finite number. We'll put, you know, monster camps in here and stuff because it's not like that stuff is tracked normally. Okay, not bad. I don't know what to expect. I was really thinking of Frog's boss fight, but you know, they just kind of made their home. It's where all the Frog's orphans are. They're making by. They're making by. Okay. Still pretty neat, though. So, Wrist Mine. There was also these islands, which were cool, and we barely saw the first one on the uh, surface. Okay, I went through a lot of different areas. You can also see, like, where some certain things are, like, I think these are like the weapon offering platforms, like has that like specific shape you can kind of get a feel of. Um, Ilinaru stuff. Where were some of the holes in the surface? I feel like I remember seeing some I just didn't go down, but was there one here? There was one under Zoro's domain. That was very well hidden. Oh, and Hmm. Mersey Island. And there was a shrine right there, too. Where else was there, though? There was... <gasps> oh, this we couldn't do, but that was the respawn platform for uh, the, the Zora Temple boss. We just found that before, you know, that itself. I still did not find the Gerudo one. It's... It could just be somewhere, like, here, honestly, so... See, that's the Colosseum. I do want to go down that point, because... Yeah, what is down there? Good question. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But yeah, I like this armor. It has very good defense. It's uh, it's on par with, like, the high-level stuff. So, like, the soldier armor, um, the hero with the wild set. I would say ancient armor, but I doubt that's in the game. Anything ancient is now Zonai ancient kind of thing. Speaking of that, I do want to swap aesthetics though. Just for a little, we need a uh, variety. A full mining outfit. <laughs> a little too bright. We still need the depth armor, which we'll find more pieces of. Uh, I don't know, I just like seeing our options. Because all these new armors are cool. And the old. Hmm. I think I'm more so just like looking at it. Okay. <laughs> Mining. And then shield, we'll swap, swap that up with uh, <laughs> extra bright. <laughs> You know, the more I look at it, the more it hurts my eyes, I think. So we're going to swap to the skydiving armor because we are about to skydive. Okay. When decisions run my mind, I have to undo that. Okay, what's going on here? After that little forest, because I feel like there's a little something in that little forest. And I will probably miss this forest otherwise. There's got to be like a Korok tree, right? There always is. 
Every little groove has some sort of Korok. Please don't let this be the one that doesn't. <laughs> So only see Quark Forest, which we will. Hmm. Well, if no Quark, there's at least some nice plants. There's some nice plants here. Need more of that. For Zoro weapons, which I'm hoping to get. Because there should be a bunch of Lanero decks. Make the apples fall. What? Okay. You see you can make the apples fall if you just hit the tree. Yeah, there we go. I don't think that's a very reliable method though. Okay. Yeah, just let them do it. The basic. They're all upgraded and I don't know. Just very nice for the swarm stuff. Probably another reason why we don't get uh, 25 weapon slots, because enhanced durability for weapons with fusing and uh, <laughs> these guys. But okay. Let's go down. Night World. <gasps> yeah, Marble. Wait a second. There's another respawn platform. Wait, there's gonna be more than one. That I didn't know. Maybe there's two per boss. Which might make sense, because I seen, uh... Well... Let's see, it was, uh... Here and there. I mean, it still doesn't make sense. Why do we? Why are the Marble Gome ones so far from Death Mountain? I, mean, I guess there is two. We weren't here. Nope, definitely we're not there. It was there. Oh. I don't need that. It's just for the reward for the boss. Because you get that... Battery refill. It's like a hundred crystallized charges for refight. Yeah, interesting that there's a second. Is it harder in any way or? I honestly have no idea. So Zora, please tell me it's Zora. <gasps> yes. Ooh, yes it is. Ooh First thing too. No, too bright. No, if it's too bright, it's icky. That's fine. That's the brightest I'll have it. Even still too bright. <laughs> yes, I am picky. Last frame, last frame. There we go. Just a little sparkle to show. Hey, this is cool. There we go, much better. <laughs> I was very picky, but it's got the good shape in there. Yeah, you have to get good shots. Might as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're doing good. We just have to find, yeah, those weapons. I'm a little picky, I know, but... It's okay. <laughs> Attack up nine, too. You have the high attack power when it gets wet. Yeah, because attack up nine is just going to be attack up 18 when it's actually in its proper state. <laughs> when it's at its peak. Bubble Goma! This guy's so much fun. Woohoo! Sadly, he doesn't have the cool arena anymore. Boy, can we ascend? I never tried ascending on him. You can! You can use recall his bombs. Ascend, you can use Yunobo. <laughs> Eye shots. Hmm. Ah! Woohoo! <laughs> Little nuts. I'll give it that. 
Um, fierce deity. Just don't get hit. That's our goal. Oh, yeah. That's what we're dealing with. Um, okay. Not like I'm rolling in the good food right now. Speed up's nice. Because <laughs> that is a way to kill him, but not the best way. The bomb's the best way, it seems. There we go. That is a good way. Get on him quick. Might have to ascend. Nope. We're good. Okay. <laughs> that? No. Crush your hammer. Go for it! Let's give that mid phase. Okay. <laughs> but this combo works pretty well. Hammers are just too nice. Do it again when we have another bomb. Oh wait, what if we use the bomb to blow up his leg? These are bombs, right? That's a yep. I uh maybe <laughs> it was, but just very slow moving. Go. <laughs> Woohoo! Keep going. Nice. <laughs> Defeated once more. I didn't realize there would be another. But yeah. See, at least one fight that it just works so much better in the dungeon because it's about the arena you fight him in. It's like a whole roll thing, so you can like, you know, roll Yunobo up and then get him from the ceiling. Sadly, it doesn't have the same effect, but it still is cool. Okay, I guess we're making another hammer. Marble Goma Leg? Is that the same as... Yeah. So it's 38 damage. Uh, more than even a heart, which is cool. Hmm. That would be the better thing to fuse it with, technically, but... <laughs> Screw it. That will be an OP hammer when uh, <laughs> the opportunity arises. Yeah, double damage if we're wet. And if I want to trade to something else, I can just go to Terrytown, and someone will disassemble it, and then I can... Reforge it the way it wants, which is cool. Yay. Hmm. I should start marking these with the weapons that I want. Because if it's Zora stuff, I can really benefit from that. So, um, let's see, destination esque ones. Or like. Yeah, the people in the depths with the weapons, you know. Because it's not about the weapons, it's about the soldiers giving them to you. Oh, that's its own area. Yeah, because the wetlands make it odd. Okay. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Whole leg. Okay, well, in the meantime, yeah. I do want to eventually find the uh, one for uh, the desert boss. Yeah, now I know where the water one is. I just I found the platform before I went to the dungeon. Yeah. It's interesting. They don't appear unless you obviously kill them first in the top. Pretty sure for the other mini bosses there though though. Like they'll always be here, even if you kill the one on the surface. It's still just like a neat like pattern. It's like the dead version of that boss that you killed. And it's always there now. Quick charge soldier spear. Some of these guys are easy, I might as well just keep going with them. Box sword. Like a little sledge. Oh, it does act as a hammer. It's kind of nice. For quick charge, too. Just for whatever it could be used for. There we go. 
Ow. Not cool. <laughs> What's an actual weapon that can hurt him? This one. <laughs> Almost flying to his friend. <laughs> So yeah, that is a person. Sorry. I'm being distracted by everything. And I guess that works. So I think any of these Linero, Linero statues can possibly get the Zoro weapons, so let's stock up. Maybe the best attachment will be from the Zoro boss itself, because it's a hammer attachment from, you know, the Goron boss. Um, it was like a blade attachment from the, uh, flying boss. A uh, Colgara from the Rito area. So yeah, I don't know what type of attachment it will be. A sharp thing, a blunt thing, a hammer thing. Sharp is helpful. Blunt is really, doesn't have much utility at all. Sharp can cut things that only sharp things can. And hammer things are, well, hammers, so... What is there? It's own zone. Also, yeah, knowing what's up above helps too. Was there any bosses? I don't. All right, no, it wouldn't be that way. It would be this way. Now we get the bike back after this ore deposit. Oh, that light rope. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of flowing between them all because. Seems like any way it can be good. Oh, one shot. <laughs> Hope I can just like use the surface map to figure out where you can go. Or maybe not. We are, or I guess that pond is shallow. Yeah, wait a second. It's always water that you can't go in, but Huh, I guess this specific area is an exception. Sometimes there is that. Interesting. Okay, I'm sure some little bit of loot in the side area. If not, like a mini boss. <gasps> Zora Longsword again! We are looking out. Stuff's OP and you don't have to flurry rush to get the benefits. So. Like a royal weapon. Wow. <laughs> That's very nice. Hmm. Just technically that. Okay, durability. If it's nothing over here, then I'm just gonna fly my way out. I'm exploring these depths. Nope, nothing. Even if you go high up, it's like nothing. They're not that evil about hiding stuff. Just me now. Okay, for our first purchase, since I'm getting all the zonite now. It feels nice. Get the skies. Sometimes it's a really good poser on the trees, but it's usually the special areas, though, I would say. Light rotating. Yeah, there's two ways to get into the narrow mine, just very slim passages under Zoro's domain. Um, but there's also, yeah, that, if you go underneath that main waterfall in Zoro's domain in the front, there's that whole chasm pit. That's also where you get the Divine Helm. So it looks like Malice. Like just the Malice eyeball is almost peeking through. I know Gloom's based off of the Malice thing, but that one really felt like it. <laughs> Seek I am. Seek I am. <laughs> Light roots. 
Hmm. We can go up. That's convenient. There's water around this one. I think the only flashy Zoro weapon I'm missing is the Zoro sword now. Which will be cool to have a proper one of. I love my one handed. Okay, that's that thing. That was like an odd structure. It didn't really lead anywhere. It was just some ruins you can kind of go inside. Probably something I was missing there. This, it's like, hmm. So the was pretty big. Camps, enemy stuff. That seems very deep. That's probably a good pet for something. I see like two enemy camps here. Or rather, at least one mining. Yep, that is a camp. <laughs> <laughs> Loud entrance. I like being bombastic. Gotcha. You're breaking all the ores for me. Thank you. Okay. You guys do that. They're doing well in the fights. <laughs> like all the large ores. Large Zonite's great for armor upgrades, I think, now. <laughs> he did well. Whoa! Right there? Perfect timing. Oh. Well, you know, that's fine too. Better. I like mining the stuff before I kill the enemies with the Master Sword because otherwise it loses its glowing property. If it's not glowing, we can't one-shot the ores. So we have a method to our madness of mining and killing. Oh. <laughs> the logic is kind of funny. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> I think, you know, we'll shatter that on me. It's okay. Like speedy killing. Yep, because that mine. Anything that's low like that's usually a mine, and of course it's under a mountain, so. Yeah, it's lower when it's like that. Oh, I guess, yep. So my noble active. And you too. Uh oh. Kind of a lot happening. Yep. Kind of. Under exaggeration. Okay, at least I caught the flurry. Needed him gone. Almost. Um, well, the impending chaos. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. I guess that's fine. We can clobber him really quick. And it almost kills him. Okay. Uh, do a little temporary looting, because that's fun. <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay, take care of him. And do all the mining. <laughs> Go! I think he's dead. Bye bye. Okay. Cleaned out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sidon. There's so many abilities to be like, oh, yeah. That one, too. Water mining. That's not what I meant, but looks cool.
<laughs> yeah. I love hitting it. Charge the weapon. Water. Oh, we're safe from the fire. <laughs> yeah, I can withstand volcanic climates this way. There we go. Cool. That's long throw. Perfect. Um, make that a new hammer weapon. I'm just going to drop stuff I don't need instead of just being like, oh, you can stay for now. No, you're out of here. You can apply to that. Do we need two hammers? Not really. Hmm. I love when there's not a single rock, though. It's like... Uh -oh. One singular rock for a hammer, please. Not quite. I can only try. Okay, I'll get this and then bounce. You know both? You're needed for just a moment. Yay. A lot of large, okay. I'll take that and run. This is not a good idea, but. Maybe. Wait, is it, that, is it actually going to work? It might. Nope. <laughs> Too much faith. <laughs> this is all important. <laughs> Trust me, you're riding around this flying bike and, uh, you know, just blasting every single enemy camp and picking up every piece of zonite. It's all important for the plot. <laughs> <It's> just... <gasps> Whoa. Wait a second. Now it's... Now it's a Zora boss. Yeah, it's uh... Oh my god, another boss platform. Okay, light first. This guy was fun, we just fought him last stream. For the first time. Let's see what thing he dropped. We can put it on the Zora weapon, whatever it is. Minage light root. My thoughts can be in mine. But that flushes out everything. In case you want to get these cool fuse parts. I love all the boss weapons. Instead of champion weapons, you get stuff for bosses. With that, there should be nearby Zora weapons. Or just, you know, any of those. Upright. You can see them on the map better, I think. Like, okay, there. I just, I can mark that right away. I know that's... I know what that is. Um, it has like a specific shape to it. I'm not seeing any more around here. Okay, it might just be the one. It's also easy to miss out on. But yeah, right there. That is a Zora Spear. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Attack up sex. Getting very lucky with these weapons. I just want that sword now. And then we're set. But okay. Water boss. Look the rock. Well, they had a water cannon. Oh, we don't have little gravity anymore. Okay. Yeah, so this changed the gimmicks of the fight. The cool Gara one's still cool because it's flying around. Side on. You're very important in this battle. Um, directional? Yeah, it's like a bullet. It does take durability though, so. <laughs> uh, it's fine. One of these. Ball. Annoying ball. Guys, get him. Get him. You That kicks him down a few notches. <laughs> Love our silly Zelda bosses. Okay, we do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you screw that up, you still got your water arrows. So it's easier than Colgara. Yep. Oh, what the? Right. 
thought you could just arrow him. Go. <laughs> Reju. He's running away. You have to catch up. There we go. <laughs> Slap him down. Next phase. Okay. Mushdo rock. I love the boss in this section. It's an Octorok variation and a like like variation. But I love his little uh, friend. <laughs> oh. Okay, spears is the best thing for it, but we don't have a lot of choice. Um. We did. Oh, that's a big. Oh, that's awesome for two-handed. Ow. We can't low gravity jump over it. There we go. Cut it all. Oh. Yeah, there's no more low grab. We have to think of another way. Oh. That was not good. No, I'm going to do this with Sidon. We're in it together, Sidon. No. Okay. Running isn't a viable option, too. Nope, wrong one. One of you guys. Okay, it can't be blocked in the muck, though. Ah. Water shield's the only way. Sidon, we're just doing this, okay? Water shield it up. Gonna try to get me. Getting closer. He's all mucky, I know. I lost my shield. Oh my god! Can you parry that? There's like... <laughs> the whole point was those low gravity arena. And now you can't do that. There we go. Wow. I mean, I guess I could just use a splash arrow, but like... <laughs> you have to use two of them if it's not. It out. Oh, it swims through the muck. No. Never had that much trouble getting him. <laughs> oh my god. Such a mucky fight. I see all the problems. Sidon, get out of the muck. Yeah. It's either offensive or defensive. I guess it's defensive. <laughs> okay. We have to clear this arena. It is the only way. There he is. Or he can shield it, I guess. What are you doing, Sidon? Some is everywhere. Oh my god, what the? He's gonna keep going back into it, too. There we go. I know. You're big mucky man. This guy's annoying as hell. I didn't... Wait, you know what? Choose your jellies. This is so annoying in the... Not in the low gravity. Oh! We destroyed his... He's carrying more. Oh my... Oh, wow. Keep getting him, guys, please. <laughs> I had him with this guy. Ah... Be able to do more. Okay, then you have to get him. No! Okay. No. We didn't chain him enough. Oh, wait. We do have a solution. Eyeballs. 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 The thing I never use. Okay, it should be under here, but it's still very high up for some reason. There we go. And then splashy. And then go! No! Ha! <laughs> this guy is very sadly annoying. Go for it! You are the worst. <laughs> this is such an annoying rematch. Oh my god. Sidon, I need your ability. I'm gonna get hit by the wall. Okay. <sighs> no! It, it hit one thing and then bailed. 
Okay. So as long as you have water attacks. Yep. A match for Mokmasi. Oh, it's really... Oh, it just is short range. See, I didn't know that at first. <laughs> These weren't in the terms and conditions of the fight. <gasps> There we go. I'll have to shield that one. Next one, Mock Rock. Ready for the side on? Well, now I know it's not like a proper blast. Yep. And just. <laughs> I'm just trying to do this the side on way, but you keep doing a move that unfunds it. Side on? I know. As soon as we recharge. Go! I don't care! We're running! Okay, that it that makes more sense. So favors Zoro up in spears. <laughs> Although anything can be. Okay. Go for it. Just run. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> no! Get back out. <laughs> no, we're just eyeballing you. It's fine. One more. One more. Bye bye. <gasps> that is so painful not in the low gravity. Well, that means that when I refight the Queen Gibdo, there's no light. Which is like a big fun part of the fight. Hmm. <gasps> oh my god, of course. There's no fuse part for this. It's just... Octoron. You know, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> I really like the fuse parts for the other ones. But yeah, he is a little shrimpy guy, so... Gibdo might be like a awesome Gibdo part that does a lot of damage, but... They have low durability. Oh well. <laughs> I guess good way to get octo parts. Oh man. I think the only fight that's the same now uh, in the depths fights is is Colgaro, because it's just a giant wind area, you know. That's all that matters. And if anything, the setting was equally as cool, if not cooler, than the actual fight. But with these, it feels like it does change something, so you kind of have to change your approach. But I will always favor the dungeon variations. But with Colgara, it's like either of them are awesome. And at first, I was a little confused because it was a pretty easy fight, but that was a cinematic masterpiece. So, sorry, that was still fun. Just a bit of a painful experience. Just, just a tad, you know. I'll see. I'm not seeing much else for Zora. Hmm. I guess if we go that way. We could go. Hmm. Or just test the rods with other weapons too. If we go upwards, we might get a Goron weapon. I just really kind of wanted the Zora sword. That is the path into the mine. This seems doable. Also, that construct thing. Wait. Yeah, that is a flux construct. We didn't fight. Hello. <laughs> First timer? We'll show him a good time. These are fun, easy fights. I like doing each one. Low health, no problem. Woo! <laughs> just cut him up right away. <laughs> go. Get him out, Tula. Oh, that block too. He's just a two. <laughs> I'm saving that jump attack. That was fun. There we go. Okay. No, we're doing good. I think bombs also break him apart instantly. <laughs> so pathetic. Oh! Well, especially when, uh... <laughs> He put his weak point right on me. So, my bike's still there. In the dark. Uh, I guess we'll just... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Even the threes, I feel, is kind of like... Okay. About... 
These mirrors are just dark. I'm getting all the dark pits. Unless I know there's loot, which there is not. I like visibility. I prefer to keep my visibility. Open. <laughs> Shoot out the wall to see where the wall ends. Right there. That's where the wall ends. Ah, brightness. Semi. Light it up first with a bomb. Light up second with seed. Yeah, yeah, underneath. There we go. There's an easy fry through. I think we might be a one shot. Oh well. Just don't get ahead. That's how I prevent being a one shot. I'll leave that one to you guys. I messed up. I think that was it here. It's a cute little camp. Let's see, I have chests and whatnot. <laughs> More of those. 218, okay, we're doing good. Oh, it's not my fourth most. Yeah, I, it alternates with ice, but splash is now past shock. And these are just here because I, yeah, past this point, it's like these are really rare usage. So, I love how there's a more, most used sort. It would be way too tedious without. There's still an enemy somewhere. We got 300 zonites, so we gained like 300 just being in the depth so far. We were at like zero before this. Nearly. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll take the pose. Yeah. Or from weapons or whatever. There's like the cross between Lanero and uh, Elden. Which I still need Zora Sword and uh, Cobble Crusher, the restored versions. Cobble Crusher will make a good oh, ammo weapon, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, I just use the Royal Claymore ones. I'm really hoping for a long Thor Cobble Crusher, though. That'll be awesome. Oh, <laughs> each other. Trading hats. Need to. Now I'll take my bike back. That is hopefully still here. It is not. <laughs> Probably when we're looting the tree. Oh, wait a second. What is it? Oh, there's another camp. <laughs> they're right next to each other. Here, light it up first. That's how you know there's trouble. If it's too bright in the depths, you know you have it bad, guys. <laughs> Got hit by the basic one. It's a pack and slashing them. Uh oh. I'm trying to hit the head. There we go. And then. I still did not find a hammer tip for that. You know, but you're up. <laughs> Once again. Just a nuclear bomb. Oh wait, I could use that to make a hammer. Oops. That's fine. Moving on. Is that two facing each other? That's cool. Well, not quite, but still. It. There's never two that close to each other like that. Three. <gasps> Whoa. It's at the Akala Citadel ruins. This makes so much sense for there to be so many more fallen soldiers. Because this is where the Hylian military uh, perished in the Great Calamity. Oh, that is so cool. 
cool. Oops. Oh my god, yeah, that is awesome. Oh, there's more for the... Yeah, so it really is like the fallen soldier thing, but there's a lot over here. That's crazy cool. I love that. Um, sadly, not a lot I want to drop now. Um, I have to start using stuff. I, I got soldier's brats. Yeah, I'll take massive damage over that. Is there even a bright thing over here? <laughs> Well, I assume so, but I call a resting girl. Oh, wow, yes, yeah, it's, it's a mine or something. Weapon type doesn't seem to be anything fancy, but it's just so wild that this exists. I like quick charge. Yeah, that is so fitting for literally the Akala set at all. And that is the closest uh, configuration them to them that I've ever seen. Okay, now I'm gonna eat something. Okay, you guys take care of them while I just cook up a little, little truffle meal, you know? It gives the temporary, but the temporary is below those hearts. That's very odd looking. Oh my god, there's another. Yeah. The... Oh, it's all down that hole, too. That makes so much sense okay. that we'll all be here. That's literally where the military perished, so it's like them giving their final bit of, uh, you know, strength to the player and the hero. Yeah, because there's a lot of things about here about spirits who can't move on. Like that's what the Poes are. So they have to return them to, like, you know, the Poe collectors, who are like the wardens of like, you know, the purgatory kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, there's soldiers that won't move on until they can do one last deed to help the hero. And of course, these soldiers would be under where most of them fell, at the Akal Citadel ruins. So just. There being so many there, and probably even more. Uh, that's fascinating. But I love the correlation so much. And yeah. Again, Zelda just does environmental storytelling so well. And I love it incredibly. So. Ah, makes me feel good. <laughs> just knowing that it's all fleshed out. Satisfying, yay. Okay. You go down there. That's deep. I assume there's an elevator to get it back. Huh. Oh, yeah, if we can find more of the Sheikah weapons, too. <laughs> Sorry, almost forgot. Um, specifically the 8 volt. That's, we could probably find those in below Kakariko, honestly. Yeah. They're doing a good stealth weapon. We never found the restored yet. Uh oh. Punish. Okay. I'm just gonna brush him too much to the side. This is cool. Yeah, this one's all inhabited. Yeah, where the... Where the soldiers fell, there's just so many more monsters, too. Interesting. There's like a whole cluster of people. That's how I see it, too. Because this is a big ruin site. Yep. 
course, boss Bacoblin and all. What if we just go to the bottom and try to clear it up from there? Ancient under... What? Oh. oh I got myself into. How do you know where the bright thing is? Literally an underground fortress. Whoa, this is so... Oh, no. Oh. Okay, uh, a lot of silvers, a lot of... What? I'm flooring him, though. Did you... Oh, he got called by the boss Bacoblin. Defensive positions. Oh, what am I getting hit by? I don't even know. I don't even know. This is a crazy battle. Okay. Uh, kill him. Okay, get a boomerang. He's, whoa, he's got picked up. He just got picked up. Whoa. I have to see it again later. Oh my. Okay, he's gonna shoot him. Yep, he's an archer. Get him. Okay, none of that. Okay, bonked him to the side. Charge! We do one pack at a time. Half them are under control by him. I, I kept jumping away. I don't even know what to do. There we go, that's what we do. We do our own spin to counter all theirs. Uh, a whole pack. Okay, then you know boat. There we go, get him away. I'm gonna water shield. Okay, needed that. Okay. Holy crap. Uh. Yeah. Well, that's a good way to control the whole situation. Um, frost emitter, frost... I, I don't even know. <laughs> after, after this, we gotta use this thing up. There we go. Going big cracks. <laughs> Woohoo! Holy crap. I couldn't stay focused. Alright. Or... Badly damaged, no! Aww. Our Daruk weapon. Nope, we got it. Good use. Bye bye. That went to a good cause, but still. Finally broke. Oh, to the corpse. Holy crap. Well, that was something. <laughs> I couldn't even control anything that I was doing. I just had to flip away and knock it hit. But we didn't die, so yay. Wow, literally underneath the citadel, too. They really camped up. I have to find that bright seat again. Of course there's loot. I just have to find it. Yep, it's like usually a mine underneath these giant things, but... Nope, this was hella crazier. What could it be, though? It could just be another green tunic, but... A weapon, maybe? Oh! Okay, so maybe all the Twilight Princess stuff is here, because we got another piece of the Twilight Princess thing. Similarly. Sadly, there's no weapon with the Twilight Princess stuff, though, so... But you can't get a Pona from that amiibo, so. The Skyward Sword one has uh, the Goddess Sword, so that could be a cool aesthetic to flesh out. And I guess any of them pair with the Mask Sword and Hylian Shield, which I assume is in the game. We just need to go back to that castle. Yeah, um, also, I really want the Wind Waker stuff, which we have the Boomerang that's in our house, but specifically the Hero Shield, because that's a really cool looking one. My, one of my favorite looks in Breath of the Wild was the hero shield with uh, the the Hylian tunic dyed white, the normal Hylian bottoms, and then the drill shaft. So I liked rocking that when I could. 
which is sadly now a relic of the past, but it was awesome while it lasted. At least Drill Shaft will always be in that game. But yeah, that was an incredible fortress. <laughs> yep, monsters overtook it because that was the fate of it. Now the soldiers lay around it. And of course, there's a lot more. Oh, wrong bow. I was like, <laughs> oh, I guess it's because we broke our other one. That's no good currently. Long range? Sure. I needed all that range. <laughs> Extra elaborate. <laughs> The whole system we're getting up. This mine was greatly overtaken. I'm incompetent of climbing stairs. Oh, there's a whole middle. That's how I missed it. It's it wasn't even all the way down. I couldn't even tell. What am I using? The club. Oh, it's oh, it's zonite on it. How much damage does that do infused? One. Should have figured. Yeah, this is an awesome place. Tons of archers, but yeah. You get these sword weapons which are fun to use. the end of that? I believe so. And yeah, we can get the light rotate. <laughs> yeah, I just love something that really surprises you with the area. And that's another boss platform. That's probably the other one where uh, Muk Okdorok is. So yay for fighting him again. <laughs> Which we're gonna have to do. We get a hundred crystallized charges off of it. Okay. Either me or Tulin. Who will it be? me. Ow. It'll be me. There we go. <laughs> I had to activate Tulin so you didn't uh, kill him. I didn't want that. Uh-oh. Nice. <laughs> Something I didn't prepare for. Crap, wait, uh. It's not good terrain. So labor it wasn't that low actually, I just I thought it was. There's more stuff over there. New Zamad. I guess we could see where more of those platforms are, the soldier things. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, portable cooking pots. I love you. And the hearty radishes, or truffles. Which are good cave foods. Quick and eat. It's like bringing a microwave with you on the go. Just up a meal. Whatever that is. I didn't really enter this this way. Don't get hit. Okay. These blue lizard horns. I <laughs> we finally have a little nest egg, but you know, just because they look cool, and that is a perfect excuse for me to actually do something with them. I always want to do this properly. But these look awesome. I don't care. Like, I know it's more powerful stuff in the game, but like that on the soldier weapon looks awesome. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I want to. I think it's one of the best fuse parts, honestly. Also, out of curiosity, will this still cleave if it's a sword shape? It will. Okay, so if it still remains, retains its sword shape, it still cleaves. 
I will keep that in mind. Because I put something like, I don't know, it's like a bouncy weapon or something on it. Or bouncy part. And it did not. Yeah, good to know. Um, let's see. A call of ruins. Oh, there's like more of the base I can kind of check out. All right, this isn't even like the high most point. Oh, that kind of is like a ramp up, isn't it? I see. This goes elaborately. Because it's all like the fins of the citadel. Indeed it does. I'm loving this so much. Just every time I play this game, it's just... The amount of secrets or cool things are just, you know... The world building kind of invest yourself in it. <laughs> Infectious. Which way I have to actually charge to get a good... I think this drifted a lot, I noticed. That's okay. This drops off somewhere. No longer makes the big clunks. <laughs> Usually the master I, th I like throwing on like stone talus hearts or the <laughs> flux things. Because I don't like using them all the time anyways. Forty-three nice. <laughs> water splash. Maybe a water park. Come from there. Um It's more of a drop than a well, anything else. There is ways to get up if you're trying to. And we are trying to. Anything there? I think I just, uh... Bomb tree. One bomb. Yay. Oh, don't let me lose my temporary. Uh... Also, like the other side. Wait. Yeah, I just need to see what's on top, which may not be too much. But there is a monster camp we can then take out. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. Again, thank you guys for being here. Just, I don't know. It's fun to vibe out, but, you know. It'll be more fun, well, in a different way, to talk about stuff on, I would say, like, probably our second playthrough, because then nothing will be spoiled for me and stuff like that, and the fresh experience is played, so. I don't know, even just talking about everything like this and sharing thoughts and feelings is always fun, so. And there's going to be many years of that to come. Like, first time Zelda playthrough is sacred. But the rest, it just, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> even with Breath of the Wild, it's playing it five, six years after launch and having a great time. In a small way, I was like, in some ways not even ready to move on to this game because I was still just having so much fun with Breath of the Wild, even after thousands of hours. So yeah, it's not just a new game, it's a new era. So I can't wait for everything. Yeah, it had a whole intro segment, too. It was like, mirrored like the top of the Citadel. Yeah, they were, they were seeing me. Because of those guys. Oh, we don't have our one hammer now. We can maybe get them both. Back out. He <laughs> <We> lived. <laughs> Guy's a little mad. Just a tad, I think. There we go. No, just really a tad. He's crying over spilt zonite. Ow. By temporary. You can attack me, you know. Like, 
You can. <laughs> I don't want to resort to killing you like this, but. <laughs> oh my. What the? Okay. He's gonna be annoying about it. Let's get him off, see. What the? Ah! He's gonna keep doing it. Oh, now you switch it up. We're good for that. You can stay in the bomb pit. <laughs> no, wait, no! I'm supposed to stay in the bomb pit. Ah. <laughs> Why did he decide to attack now? He was faking us out, so. We wouldn't kill him extra cruelly. Cool. That now we know where that connects, and a lot of those soldiers too. For that loot, um, I guess the next one. We're we talking like more over there. I, I don't remember. There's just some platforms. We can maybe start to fly around a bit, because that's the camp we took on, leading into that. So let's see what we can do. We fought Mokokdorok, and there's another one of those soon, too. Okay, we got distracted by we the offering soldiers, literally five in one area. Make that six. Wait a second. That looks like one of those offering things, but bigger. Oh! <gasps> it is! That's even cooler! <laughs> that's so cool. I was like, that's you can't be serious. This is amazing. Uh, I'm just taking him so they reset the trades. Because otherwise they will not. It'll be the same thing when I come back. Wow. Oh. Yep, more the ruins, because Fallen Soldiers was the monsters that took them on. Again, too cool. Oh, not quite. I guess we'll plant a seed. Or a monster in need. Oh, wow. They're chill. Oh, my bike. It landed there. Oh, what the? Of course, the blue. Okay, let me go in. Frost the Mitter. That's what you're for. Woohoo! Great. I don't know. Sword shield. Why did I feel the need to do that? I just had it, so I did. Okay. <laughs> and it broke it instantly. <laughs> Got him. He's gonna hit out anyways? <laughs> Guess I somehow messed that up. But no, we're good. I couldn't even see what he was doing. Bye bye. I see you. Is he tooling for blocking that? Damn it. Right. No! Ah! Icky. Okay, let it break. So it starts recharging. You never want to let it have low durability at the end of a fight. Because when you go into the next fight, it'll just be broken right away. When it could be recharging between that. So. Thank you, Tula. 
Perks of having a nice archer on the team. Cherish that one zonite. Cool. Yeah, this one wasn't even a marked location. It's just a part of the bigger uh, depths ground. The ancient underground fortress. Yeah. I love how it's all connected like that. I really got there's another, yeah, offering thing there too. Ooh, wow. That went very well. Just destroy everything. This is not gloom infested. That's why I have this thing. Oh. <laughs> Forgot how weak the level one ones are. Okay, you can take care of that. I don't think there's anything I could benefit. I guess. Ow! <laughs> I said you could, guys. I could, I mean you should. Should have gave it as a command, you see. Giant pit. Yeah, this connects to the area we were. Can't believe we just didn't get the citadel area, which had such a cool thing. Put everything around it, yeah. <laughs> now we, that's probably like the biggest chunk we have. If you count that, which you kind of can. But it's connecting. Weapons or whatever, we can. Wait, that's actually pretty good. Not really. I don't need really need a Thor spear for anything. Because it just breaks for everything, so it's like, besides rock, so if I want to make a hammer. Yeah, long throw throwing spear, it's different. That could be kind of funny. There's one right there, too. <sighs> Gotta check them all. I don't know if we're quite in the region to get the hammers yet, though. Probably in the heat zone. <gasps> Lionel! Yes! How did I not see that? I still want my soldier spear. Mark, mark the weapon location. I'm just shooting him in the air. You don't have elemental arrows anymore. Not quite the force to be reckoned with. But it's okay. We'll put you out of commission. Humiliating ways possible. With the reaper sword. I'm getting mad. Yell a bit. Oh wait, he's got armor. That I didn't see. Ha! <laughs> Gonna get right in my face, huh? <laughs> oh, silly little guy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There's another big combo. We're using a two-handed, which is slow and sluggy. Oh wait, that one I can't get too easily. Line it up. Oh, never mind. Ah, I missed the head. There we go. I will gladly use up this bow. There we go. Oh, not a million zone I'm supposed to worry about. Oh wait, this one. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, armor shard. Wonder what that's good on. Shield maybe. Okay. 
Well, I guess you guys just do it. I was gonna go in for my royal finish, but you handle yourself pretty well. Yeah, that fits the shape perfectly. It's like meant to be. It's just a rusty little thing. I need purified weapons. Seems like I might have lost my craft though. Okay. Maybe we should pit, pin Lionel's in the depths, because, like, it's great. You never know when you need them. <laughs> this whole area is kind of foreign to me, I guess. Let's go there. Yeah, we'll have to make those Zor weapons into something great, too. The Gliak parts are good for that. Great Zor spear. that thing. It's like that whole thing too. Interesting. Wait, I want to actually fight that boss now. Aim fire. Boom! No. <laughs> Maybe would hit for fire damage if they weren't fire bats. But you know, I'm just kind of going around. <laughs> What I expect, I don't quite know. Mm. Yeah, in there. Treasure chest. Oh, you're right here, huh? There we go. Probably do a few more things in here because I've been in the depths and you're just playing a lot today. <laughs> With the wind razor. Yeah, I don't know, it's just fun. A nice two ended charge, knocks moblins over. It's got its fun use for sure. Quick charge. Uh, for big camps. Ooh. Got a little fire in that too. It's a wiki club. I'm just kind of using it because it's here. There we go. Bullying. So much fun. Ow. I feel like the victim here. There we go. <laughs> when in doubt, pick up all the enemy camp's weapons and chuck them out. Okay, now I should have a hammer weapon. There was no rocks in the depths. I've made that much clear. Yep, that's from the boss fight. Okay. Well, profit over 400 zone by being in here today. Which is a nice, hearty sum. That's after, you know, the amount we spent. Okay, finish on the muckock truck. <laughs> Yay. This is so much fun, though. I assume there's another weapon platform nearby. There is one. One. Okay. Oh man, not one of these again. <laughs> Make it work. So there's probably two for each. Yep, hi. You can't hurt me out here though, can you? Person. Find a lot of those today. Rather. Yeah, whole stretch, the nun, one, and then, yeah. But I don't know what type of weapons can spawn there. I don't think like Zor or anything. What if we had a Hydron ship to fight him? 
You know what I'm saying? Because Water Hydrant should be able to do this fight well. Yeah, I, I have to get more creative with this fight, don't I? One, two. Stabilizer. Sled. Hydrant, 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 Hydrant. Just infinite water. You can do whatever. This could be the ultimate slayer for this guy. Let's see how this works out. Do your thing there. Oh, that is on the hydrant, not what I wanted. There we go. It doesn't matter how many we have, we can just. It's like the hydrant had to be good for something, and in bulk, maybe this. like that, but like that. And we can do one off the side. Like that, and then turn ourselves in place. Or even just that, maybe I overkilled it, but... <laughs> Steering wheel. Because then what else, you know? We got our firepower from our friends. Yep. Let's do it. Look off your rock. Got it all cleared. There we go. Oh, come on. No. They're going higher. Yeah, it's hard with the... Uh... Can't get tailed easily. Okay. Just stay there. We'll, we'll be fine. Yep. My mechanism blocks it off. There we go. <laughs> huh. We had the right idea. Oh, my tire blocks it. Yes. Acts as a natural shield. And when he does stuff like that, then we can get close. That. Don't tell me he's Oh, it worked. Yes. Okay. Well, that's how we do phase one here. Uh, hurl him with some weapons. Frost. Yeah, it does not work against bosses. Should have assumed. There we go. I'll get back on. I don't have a real power weapon. At least not for another 42 seconds. Okay, we're using this then. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> the water cycle. Okay. You're gonna go for it, then move it. It's not good range. Even if we have like a construct head. There we go. If he charges us, yeah. There we go. <laughs> we'll just let him do the attacking. Because he'll charge us from the back, so the back hydro works better. Do your worst. Yeah, follow me. He's not even trying. Okay, let the tire hit it. <laughs> this is definitely our last life. Okay, back to this. <laughs> Please let this work. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that's how we get our death. The stupid Octorok. <laughs> oh, man. Of all things, we finally graduated from 58 deaths. It was due to him. <laughs> Thank you, Muckoctorok. That's what I needed in my life. Where's Tulin over there? Are you helping him out? <laughs> Guess what we don't have. Well, that thing sucked. Yeah, we need to build something better. There's nothing we can ride. I have a theory that we can auto-fight this guy. Like, I don't have to do any work. We do homing carts. Hydrant, hydrant. Right 
but rather the other way around. Hmm. Yeah, because this has to be able to get over stuff, so... I have a plan. I have a plan. It doesn't matter. Just put Hydrant there for now. I just have to be close enough to stay safe, don't I? And that shall be done. Then we put a Construct Head. Right. And then we put some beams on him. We'll put one down here. There should be a nice auto battle here. It's a decent little damage output, you know, nothing too crazy hot. But. That's okay, you can. Hmm. I'm trying to put it on the side of there, so it just ha gets a little triple laser. Oh, we can. No. There we go. Because he's wide enough, so that will work. Or rather, should. See, a stabilizer still doesn't tip over. Yes. That is a good call. Um... He's on the side there. And then... Just so, so I can stand on it, because I have to be close to it, you know? I won't actually be controlling it, because that's not how the cart works. But... I just need to wait again on top. I have not found that yet. Uh, maybe I should compensate for that. Um... Hover still might work awkwardly. I shouldn't have done that. Um, Alright, I guess just for a temporary get on. There we go. Just auto fight this guy. It's, it, it, it needs to work. Oh my god. If this does, I'm gonna scream. It is. Okay. Uh-oh. I have no idea this is going to play out. Lizards are working. Uh-oh. It's not going to hit me, right? It's not. Get close to the water. We got this. Let the water hit him. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> it's a little angle like cannon. Uh -huh. <laughs> it does hurt me sometimes. Um... This is water, it's too low. Let's get, we can eat some BS food. Who needs heat resistance? Actually, we do. Um, it's like cold up? Glowing, I like glowing, but that's not... Okay, you know what? BS food... <laughs> Screw that, we need armor. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yes, we got him! Oh my god, does it work? We got him once? Please let this work. <laughs> um, how are we gonna do this? Zone A charges, okay. Just gotta get close like that. Come on, the water's gonna hit him. Water, do your thing. Yes! And then the beams are on him. Yeah! Get him, beams. Woohoo, yes! Beams fry him! <laughs> It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. That's it. We're just staying by it. Okay. You do your thing, cart, when you can. Get close, get close. Yep. There we go. Hit him out. <laughs> okay, side on. We gotta do this. We need spear. We have a spear now. Doesn't matter what spear. Alright. Stand still. 
go! Bullets! Beam him up! You're the best at tracking him. <laughs> Just getting swapped here. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My own beam. Okay. We got it again. It's a big distraction. That's all we needed. All right. It'll be good for the next phase to clear some ground here. In the meantime, we have the spinner thing. Gotta do its thing. Ow. Might hurt me more. I get that. What's part of the fun of it? <laughs> yeah. Or he's pretty weak without the ice component. Next phase will be key, though. Oh, no. That's too slow. We need fast. Okay. He's getting watered right now. Oh, no, he's not my thing ran out. Crap. Stand close and make sure the battery's not drained. Well, it only took a speck of damage. There we go. Oh! Ah! Yep, my armor is very good. Okay, he got watered. It's gonna happen again. Yes, it happened again. There we go. Get him. Nope, not me. Card's moving very slow. Hit him out of it. Okay. I have to keep going with this. Oh my god. Next phase is when it's actually crucial though. For now it's just fun, but there we go. A cart. We should do this. Damn it. Get him, yep. Beam him, okay. There we go. Ah, that's my good weapon. You so much health, you have way more health than when I fought you last. And that I can't confirm. Okay, we're going to stay still. He's still taking gradual damage from that, he is. I didn't notice, but it's not shielding everything. Okay, that's a really good weapon. Um... Under the beam boomerang. Ow. There's too many beams. Guys, you're gonna have to do this. Oh, yep, that activates the thingy too. Go! Oh. oh, I got him! On that second swing. Okay, now activate the thing. Sadly, the water doesn't go far. But it still clears ground. Of course, I'm in goop. Get out of goop. There we go. <laughs> yep, he's getting gradually hit. Uh-oh. King! That didn't work. He's still getting hit? Okay, good. Did he get out? He did get out. I don't know how he managed that, but he did. <laughs> Got the bullet. Perfect. This is a much awesomer fight. Bouncy sword? I'll get him again. Side on? <laughs> he comes right to me. He knows why. <gasps> no! No way. Keep going, keep going. There's one way out of that. You're still gradually damaging him. Just tick by tick. Nothing crazy though. Okay, my battle bot's doing great. Bouncy brats. I don't even know what to use. I'm just using kind of whatever right now. The thank you water thing for clearing the ground. Oh wait, my spit. I can spin attack over this freely. That's good to know. Okay, it's slow because we just don't have our heavy hittings right now. I might use this thing up though. Side on? Can't make a water arrow, can I? Nope. We already knew that. Range is limited for him. 
<laughs> okay, hit him again. Woohoo! Bullet. My thing's still recharging, but maybe that's for the best. Keep getting him. There you go. <laughs> he can damage while I can't. <laughs> Keep him down. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. And still clearing ground as the water's moving. Paving that way. He has so much health. Throw it! Yep, the bolt. You have to keep going for it. Yep, keep going. There's so much crazy amount of health. The more we fight him. Going up. This is clearing everything. Run! Sidon's running with me. Okay, good. This is the final thing. Get the bolt him right there. No, too slow. Run around. Um, water, water, water. Splash fruit. Got him. Once. Needs a second one now. Yes. Okay. This has got to finish. Whoop. He keeps going in the mud pits. My vehicle's out of commission too. Nice! Right in the head. Okay, we're so close. Get him! Come on! We did good! Woohoo! <laughs> that was great. That was amazing. <laughs> Give me my octo parts. Oh, with our watermobile. With beams. Yeah, um, so you can't use that to clear the arena. Maybe it has something with a better circle, like a spinny thing with on like a horror platform. You can just constantly clear water. I don't know. We got him, got tons of balloons. So it's worth it in its own way. <laughs> yeah, we saw this a bit ago, but couldn't do anything with them. Now we could. Ah. <sighs> Give you my charge. And yeah, I guess uh, <laughs> that was a fun variety adventure today. We did a couple hours of depths up at the end, just especially a lot of the stuff around here and made some cool progress in the swirly and all that. Uh, and then just on the surface, yep, a cross country truck to go to the desert. Um, we got our Centaur of the Seven, did the whole Yiga Clan Wind Cleaver thing, um, checked out some of the highlands, did more of here. Little quests, uh, loot like the pyramid more, little do go fighting. It was a very fun day. I I didn't really know what to do. We just killed a bunch of stuff and it was great and rode around and just shenanigans. The shenanigans that always happen in this game. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we'll be back again. I'll be live tomorrow, but it'll be a little bit later. Um, and my schedule got a little mixed up. So uh, yeah, like probably more closer to like 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I'll be live again. And Tuesday, I have plans, so that's pretty much what it's looking like. So tomorrow, later, and then Wednesday, normal time, which is around like 1 Eastern. And uh, yeah, I feel like maybe this this time we'll start pursuing areas with like, well, getting those last memories and whatnot, because like there's one over there and then one by Lake Hylia and then one up there. So maybe getting that so that's a bit more on par with our progress in the dungeon line. Doing the castle could be fun. All the areas we haven't checked out, so uh, yeah, it was just awesome making more progress in our own way. So yeah, thanks again for watching. It was fun. I am going to eat a late dinner now because this went on for like seven hours, but variety, awesome adventure. So hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching and uh, well, Oink says goodbye and till tomorrow. Bye-bye.